Alright, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Killing Everything in Breath of the Wild, where the whole desert is what we just cleared out. Well, basically, because uh, our next step is going to be what's near it, which is the highlands. So, as you can see by the map, which we'll pull up, we we did the desert, we did regions like Akala, Lanero, the Great Plateau, and a lot of others. Um, so it's really just taking the world chunk by chunk, and, well, naturally after the desert comes uh, the much upper area, so, which that's actually called Gerudo. Which is surprising because the desert's called Wasteland, but a lot of people call it Gerudo, even though the winter area is Gerudo. It's confusing, but oh well. Uh, we'll be doing it. So yeah, welcome everyone. Hope you're having a great Wednesday, and I'm excited to do this. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I had to bomb the seal because it's the only efficient way to get them without them running away. No harm to the seal. They have infinite health. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, there's like a couple stragglers just past kind of the ice house, and there's a pretty clever build-up to the whole area, too. So that's what we'll be heading out. And yeah, welcome everyone, nice to see ya. And yeah, most of the main stuff is done, so in terms of the Divine Beast question, uh, yeah, those are all done, the DLC's all done, Trial of the Sword. Um, so just a lot of stuff around the world. There's still some other medium-sized challenges, though, like Eventide Island, which we'll eventually do. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, I believe we're going, like, hmm, one second. There's, like, one straggler little enemy, apparently, that is, like, right here. And this is technically the last enemy in the desert, but I just never saw him for a while. Oh, he's one of these pillar lizzles, isn't he? Okay, this one's, like, right on the border of the highlands and the desert. There you are. Not fooling me. <gasps> My shot fooled myself, though. I, I thought I had that one. Come on. There we go. And a headshot, too. Well, that made up for it. Oh, <laughs> he was dead from the fall. Okay. Well, good start. That'll be our first up for the count. 44. Cool. <laughs> After only 14 kills, not with 13, uh... 60% of the way done with the challenge almost. Wow. <laughs> That's going pretty awesome. Yeah. So the 3,000 enemy will hit very soon. And yeah, we're going to start at this checkpoint. This is our kind of gateway into the highlands. And there's an archer. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even have time. Okay. No, out of normal arrows, which is, yeah. That's fine. This moblin is just... Uh, a rapid fire man. Here. And with the duplex. Oh, just both to him, I guess, makes sense. But. Can't do crap when I'm under you. It's your biggest flaw. Oh, there's guys dancing in the background, too. I just see ya. You see? <laughs> You're shooting past me. They should have gotten different types of guys to guard. But a diamond, that's nice. <laughs> 20 fire arrows. Very few of the, uh, like, silver and gold enemies are like archers that give amazing arrow drops. So, those are always appreciated. Oh, cool. Yep, just a little bit more shock action. <laughs> See what sort of damage we can do just now. Master Sword will slaughter. <laughs> And a banana gem. Conveniently buy the Giga hideout. Ow. <laughs> Little punches do nothing. Yeah, stand back for a second. I gotta loot. Okay, thank you. I'm just gonna do a <laughs> silent yell. Sure. <laughs> and kick that also misses a lot. These guys just have to use more, like, fitting moves against Hylian? Oh. <laughs> well, say, their arrow game isn't very good. Their kick game. Yeah. They don't do what they excel at. They should really specialize more. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? And one more little poke. Yeah. You got two diamonds for killing a silver Boko this morning. That's awesome. 
Yeah, especially a silver instead of like a gold. Now the odds can get pretty nuts sometimes. I think one of my favorites is still getting diamonds from the uh, basic ore deposits. Because it is possible. You know, not super common, but I don't know. It just makes things feel special. I think one of my most cherished luck memories in this game is uh, when the first time I was outside of Hateno Village, I picked up just a loose rock and I got a gold rupee. I, I still don't know the exact odds of that, and that's never been replicated. It was like, on my, my like first playthrough, too. So, a very silly moment indeed. Oh, how, actually, you want the rock? <laughs> I think he might want the rock, actually. No. It's okay. Okay. You want it now? He does, okay. <laughs> I just had to make sure. He is a rock oct rock after all. I think rocks are the best part of his diet. But yeah, welcome everyone. We just got things kicked off uh, in order to send into the highlands where verse getting high up, which yeah, this is probably the best place to do it. It's kind of the official entrance, official unofficial one, you know? But that's where you get the tower, and I like this area a lot. A few dangerous, but nothing too unmanageable. Duplex, but will break soon. But there is uh, some Yiga targets I'm sure we'll find. Also, I need that food. Mifa usually helps out, but... Oh, banana! Again, close to the Yiga hideout. They're just making it too easy for me. Here, you take this, the wood sword. Bye-bye. Bloop. I wonder if that counts as a proper death. Because I know sometimes when enemies get blown far, it like doesn't count. So if he responds, it's actually going to be a bad thing. Let's make sure really quick. Um, <laughs> the rock Akko, Akko indeed one of the rock. <laughs> it's, it's funny. You know, just dosing them with their own medicine. Okay, it did kill them. I just had to make sure of that one. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> no stragglers. No monsters left behind. We care about all of them equally. So they all have the same fate. Yep. It's just that fate's executed in different ways. Oh, <laughs> that's the kill from the grave you tr try to attempt. Yeah. Again, Moblin Archer, especially with that very poor uh, angle of eyesight. Was not the smartest. Okay. If we're going to switch armors right next to him. Okay. Hello. <laughs> this really helps. This one. Sheikah style. Oh, and... You know, I guess that works too. <laughs> I was gonna give you uh, a quicker death, but I guess that was pretty quick in its own way. Okay, where are we at with the count? We... Um, yeah, we can zoom in a little bit. Okay. We marked off those five, so we can do that. Rock Octo, that and that. So kind of just like some stragglers. There's gonna be a lot of Octo platforms in the center. Um, some guys in the side. <laughs> These ones are kind of annoying to mark off. Totally fine, though. Up it by three, because those are the ones we didn't add. Fifth. Oop, not 82. Perfect. <laughs> Moblin hatred. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. The Highlands, uh, well, I think Lizelfos have the most enemy density there. And I guess if you count the Peblets, too. A lot of Frost Peblets. Which I love those little guys, but <laughs> they have been uh, the defeat of us many times. Just getting frozen and snapped off a cliff. Perfect memories. Here. I don't have a leaf of any sort, but... Oh, no! <laughs> it was almost broken anyways. Here. A Sheikah leaf. It does the same thing. No. Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> no. 
Actually, yeah. I'll pick him up and take him over here. How about that? Moblin, you will be responsible for his death. He's weaponless. Uh-oh. He's going for it. But Coblin, you better watch out. <laughs> you thought I was the problem. But it was me. Uh -huh. Oh. Eh, I can help finish the job. I was going to send you off. But you avoided that fate. Snappy. Okay. Um. Wonder how our friends are doing over there. Actually, we could start with those platforms because they're very low. Usually, you have to climb to the top of a tower to get them. But these guys, different story. Or actually, <laughs> why not continue the stealth? Oh, ugh, ah, not like that. I mean, he's pretty dead, at least. <laughs> hey, Skeleton Ed, thank you so much for the $10. I appreciate it. These poor Octoroks, I know. Oh, I hope that loot wasn't very good. Note to self, don't sneak strike like that. Um, <laughs> you're probably any weapon. Okay, um, you do have a Phrenic Bow. Another with the Sheikah type. That's a bit safer, and then we can updraft that way. I know it's gonna work, I was gonna do that afterwards, but I will take that, because I probably wouldn't have made the flight. What is this, though? There's gotta be something a bit spicier. Eh, well, the attack up is good for. It is a weaker weapon altogether, but still. Nice. Okay, this time I want the bridge off, though. How do we do this carefully? That's good. And then I want you off too. Let's move this up a bit. It's a little slow at that. No? Here, maybe it needs a little oomph. Where's my oomph? There it is. Come on. <laughs> Will this work better? Technically, I don't know if it's the balloons or maybe a combination of both. Here. We can go in from the top, kind of, if we do it this way. Or at least we start where we came from. That's an okay goal, too. Let's see how much this works. No? Huh. Sometimes they're weirdly fixed like that. But, I mean, this is still viable in its own light. So, should I complain? Not really. Because we can just keep spawning an updraft. And... It's... It's still pretty neat. I'll give it that. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. I'll take it. This gives me an odd angle in. Um... That'll work. Bit of an overestimation. Never mind. Should not try to snipe with a non snipe bow. <laughs> it still works if you're far enough, you can just snipe them. No time to even think about retreating. Not the octopus, they're just here to pull the platforms. All right. Actually, thanks for reminding me. I know they're just there for that, but they're still in the enemy nature. They can't be kept alive. I'm sorry. They count as enemies, too. <laughs> yeah. Silly me about to leave them alone. Oh. I mean, that wasn't smart on me. You know what we're going to do here? Make him forget. His poor memory will be his biggest downfall. Oh, wait, he's still plucking. All right. You should be on alert. I'm above you, and you know that. Your memory can't be that bad. Oh, no, wait! I just saw that bomb! Oh, no! Ah, wait, can we... Yes? <laughs> it still works. Oh, my God, come on, the last set. 
that's oh uh oh <laughs> well i guess there we go <laughs> made our own power strike all right bye 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 nice die already please <gasps> nope infinite health sorry <laughs> that was so funny I did not see that bomb and it was a little uh <laughs> yeah eye-opening let's see let's do this really quick first demon thank you skeleton thank you so much for the five sorry I forgot I didn't put in a message love the stream hope I enjoy my day thank you so much hope you enjoy your day as well yeah much appreciated <laughs> No. Why I blasted half the loot around anyways? Why bother? I don't mind using this thing. It's pretty... It's pretty meh. It's more cool looking than anything. And plus it's funny how it like adds like a spike barrier to my shield. Actually specifically that one looks kind of cool. That, or at least uh, fitting, I should say. In terms of the shape. Just spike shield. But it's two separate pieces. Also, I see a shadow of an octo. Oh. Nice and then the one right. Rivali's Gale is now Wait. Ready. Is that the one that I brought up? I thought I Wait. Oh, when I blew up that one, that was one I forgot to blow up, right? That's the one that I had. So it actually retains its top position with the Octo Balloons. So when I was doing that, that lift thing earlier, I was setting a new top position for it. So yeah, now it just floats up there. <laughs> the one that we went back for wasn't that. Um, interesting. Well, I guess that does make sense. I think I did hear about that once too. Oh well. Uh, I do want to make the shot, 100%. Bye bye. <laughs> Ascend to heaven. They get a much happier ending that way. Which I guess is fitting for some of them. They're probably the most innocent uh, enemies in the game. They're just an accomplice to the crimes. Uh, you know, they don't really commit much themselves. Also, that's an odd place for a chest. That isn't a chest, is it? It's not. <laughs> of course. Why try to fool me? It's a triple balloon. Actually nice. All right, I think it's rock time again. <laughs> we still have no normal arrows, but we have so much elemental. And that's why I'm just using bombs. Ooh. Hit him again, please. Yes, oh, off the cliff. Oh, that was beautiful. Again, oh, I was like, please do that again. <laughs> Wait, you have to, here, just fly. Right? Well, it does do the trick in its own way. This area is very fun. Yeah, the Octo Balloons are accessories to murder. So it is really great we're doing this. Bye bye. No stealth strike prompt even. Just stuff. How many monster parts are we at now? Um, well, over half for Bacoblin Horns, which is... Oh, but it's not even our most. Uh, Bacoblin Fangs, yeah, we're almost maxed out. We may or may not max on the Talons, that's okay. We'll definitely max on the Fangs, though. There is over, like, a thousand Bacoblins in this game. It's the most dense uh, enemy in the game. Oh, <laughs> nice. I should always be prepared for that from now on. I wonder if there's something good. Likely not. No, I was I was pretty right. Sleepy time again. Okay. And then quick death afterwards. As soon as we get to uh a nice and resting point up here. We'll 
we'll tally up everything we just killed. Because there's a lot of those octo platforms, which really jump the count the most, just by the nature of it. An easy three or a four for one. Also, I like this platform. Hmm. Ha. It's actually 1145 right now. Um, there's a shrine nearby that has a guardian in it, but it's tied to a shrine quest they can only do at a specific time of day. I'm pretty sure it will be at midnight. So I think we can hit that up really quick if we put a travel medallion down and go to it. There we go. It's right over there. There we go. Yeah, so basically it's whenever there's light in the sky. I forgot the exact riddle. You shoot at the moon to reveal a shrine. And the thing is, usually it's just the morning sun. But the moon also creates light too. So assuming we get a good moon glow on this thing, as long as you shoot an arrow at the moon, we will get a shrine opening up. 1220. I think it's about to happen. And moonlight glow. <laughs> I did it once before. I think it was in the Lizzle run. That's when we found out you could do it this way. But it should be happening. I tried it once before and I just had to wait a bit longer. It did 100% work though. Um, Because I think the other time... You... Oh, there we go. Yep, moonlight glow. <laughs> it has to be like perfectly like... High noon, but the midnight version. So it's not exactly at midnight. It just... Whatever the moon is the most moon, I guess. And there we go. Well, it's when the moon crosses the tower. That's what it was, right? Because that's to do with the shadow. I, f I totally forgot. Um, there we go. I, f I forgot the actual quest. We'd have to talk to cats first, but this kind of happened first. Yeah, so the light source has to be behind the shadow. Or... Has to be behind the tower to cast like a shadow on that. It doesn't fully have the effect though in the moonlight. But yeah, it's a very small window at midnight or or around midnight where it works. So not at midnight or noon, okay. But that's kind of like the approximate time, right? Or at least for this, this is like 12 something. It's an interesting one, so I'll take it. It's high night. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why not? You did it with an ancient bow, but it didn't count. Are you sure it didn't go away right away afterwards? Because I'm pretty sure the night version lasts a lot less. That's something I can look into more, but... It definitely is just odd that you can do it at night. It's about 1pm for daytime? Okay, so it's... Around the 12 hours. Ish. Benefit of the doubt, okay? <laughs> Bye-bye. Sure. Ah, if only he had better weapons, though. I'm pretty sure there is a major test of strength in the Highlands, so we'll definitely be doing that today. Also, I almost forgot my attack. That's a sin. Mm. Oh, Master Sword, right. You can actually use, like, very good weapons. Don't have to resort to Boko Clubs. <laughs> I blew up the pillar myself. I forgot I could do that. I mean, it makes sense. You typically don't need to anyways. All right. Let's see how this fight ends. I see one resolution, Guardian. And I'm ready for it this time. I'm not chickening out. Chickening. Oh, come on. I really want to parry it. I know it's possible. I'm not good at the first one yet. Oh, come on. What? 
You just missed me on that second one. This is never a game of playing around. I usually get it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> well, by usually get it, I mean I'm still in the practicing phase. I eventually want to learn how to parry that first one with the timing. I do the second one because it's easy to space out or understand the time between the four shots that he does. Long throw is icky. Okay. Another long throw, but less icky because it's sword and it does twice the damage. And has about the same durability, so it's more uh, worth the cost. <laughs> there we go. Well, we did it. Oh, we got another long throw. This is a curse shrine. Plus, we're going to a frost area, so it's not really the best weapon. We'll, we'll, we'll just say no. Yeah, I think I think a no is fine. And hey, the bread pirate. Uh, also, it's really great to hear you got our channel back. I heard about the whole uh, ordeal. And honestly, like that's a scary thing to happen. Like just you know, an entire channel vanishing for a bit. And good thing like YouTube can recover stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad it worked out in the end. Long throw best upgrade. No, <laughs> you're not supposed to encourage it though. All right, let's look at the map. Um, we did the one in there. These are all ones we didn't mark. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay. We kind of went a hot second without marking any off. But 23, sounds good. Now there's only like three more here. And this, this area, okay. So 23. <laughs> Do that before I forget. Um, 75. Cool. We're getting very close to uh, 3,000. We are 25 away. We get 600 likes. Krota needs a piece of bread on the camera. I'm almost out of bread. I, 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 need, I need the bread for my sandwiches for this week. I'm sorry. Otherwise, it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty good goal. Okay, but also, we did that. Let's go back to our medallion, because this is kind of out of the way. Um, yeah, I guess today, in terms of goals, uh, well, light goal is always 600, so thank you guys for the support on that. Only a few hundred away already. Um, and then, also for the run, we're clearing the highlands. Also, I kind of want to do some amiibos, too. We have all of our amiibos ready this time. Um, actually, I'm on my desk, so we can actually start with one. This is the uh, Princess Zelda Twilight one, because I still really want to get the Twilight bow. We have like seven I just grabbed before the stream. Okay, so. Whoop. Pumpkin. I love the pumpkins too much. I just like pumpkins. Ah, I still prefer the pumpkin. Okay, we'll do more as we go. Be kind of a here and there sort of thing. But for now, I'm not with the death escalator. Elevator. Love the amiibos. They are always great. Oh! <laughs> Big Crate took down Little Crate. Big Crate, don't bully him like that. I mean, it was my fault, but still. <laughs> Actually, I could be using these crates for the combat a bit. Not every day we have a giant crate to work with. I get 600 likes, I have to eat a crouton. I think the croutons I have are expired, actually. So I don't think that's going to work today. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, there's not a lot of carb content here right now. Yeah, I ruined everything. And then up here, I'm really not doing the ele elevator quite normally. But I'll change. I feel like this ends in a very bad way. Uh, <laughs> or so I thought. I thought there was already a, a crate on the top one. Also, yeah, <laughs> using bomb arrows all the time because I have them, but they actually had good loot this time. 
Usually I'm used to like the mostly empty ones. Yeah. I feel bad for leaving it behind. Alright, let's do this elevator. And then for the enemies on top, we can deal with them with uh, another crate. Because this thing is quite the one-shotter. The only thing better than a great sneak strike combo is just one nice hit with the crate. That is the meta. Let's see, I, I thought there was a crate on there. Maybe I slipped my mind or something. Oh, gold moblin. Um... Oh wait, I have to put the crate, right. I know just how to do this. Um, so I don't create any extra downwards momentum like I know I'm going to. Stop the mechanism. If I don't hit it, I just hit it. This is gonna be awful. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Why? <gasps> If I'm, uh, I hit, I have to hit it right at the bottom. Otherwise, it's literally just all hell. You know what? Fine. Be that way. We have an alternate mechanism. And that is our own. Here. What's our heavy hitter? That should be just fine. Upwards. That should do the trick. Woohoo! <laughs> Yahoo! That's a lot higher than we actually needed. Bye bye, crate. <laughs> I know those guys respawn, but nothing we can do. And who do we got? Uh, little camp. There's a fish bone in there. Where do you catch it, though? There's no fish in sight. That's okay. We have what we need. The gold moblin, not even an issue. But for him, a skill issue. <laughs> Another diamond. I swear, we're getting stacked now. And we can pick up the club to replace other stuff. Even that. That's low durability. I know it's a long throw, but... It'll just be the first one to go. Hey, these crates actually have stuff. How surprising. And yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in, by the way. Um, we just started. We're getting things kicked off with the Highlands. About to get the tower. And uh, yeah, going to be a lot of tricky combat today. The last room we did was the Grudo Desert itself, which that had some hard stuff in it. Um, especially with a lot of silver camps. But we make do. And this ascent has been fun so far. Okay, where... There should be... Two blue bacoblins. Oh, there you are. <laughs> of course. These strong moblins have such weak backup. It's one... Kind of weaker patrol guys. I guess the other guy's just somewhere around here. You don't even need that big crate. Oh! Don't watch on me now. Bye bye. <laughs> the first one killed, the second one overkilled. Is there sushi in this game? That would be fun. I wish. See, I know this is something they're not gonna add, but uh. It would be really cool if there's potatoes in the next game so I can make uh, french fries. They're not going to do that, you know. I mean, I know fries go by many different names, so it could be french fries, fries, chips. Uh, but I like french fries a lot, and we'll probably never see it in a Zelda game, but, you know, that's just how it is. <laughs> or a pizza, you know, just make food from all around the world. There's, a, there's still a lot, a lot of variety in this game, though, so I am not offended. <laughs> Also fries because, uh, you know, Baby Floyd. So, really just to represent him in the game. I don't know, maybe they'll do it. Mm. 
That worked well. Just about. I should have canceled sooner. <laughs> that was just too fast. Uh oh. And again, I got antsy. All right, let's up the comp by three. Mm. Do I prefer bows or swords in Breath of the Wild? I mean, I feel like I'm not really supposed to pick an answer, at least from my stance, because they're so interconnected. Like, I feel like I can pick between the three weapon classes, you know? I think I would say one-handeds are my favorite because you can use a shield. But bows feel so interconnected with any playstyle in this game, I can't say that it's better than melee, because I really do appreciate the synergy between melee and range combat in this game. You can do some melee stuff, uh, quickly switch to your bow, and that's why I like that bows and swords have different buttons. Um, because in a lot of games like this, you would have to switch between your sword to your bow, with like, in the inventory, it's like, either your bow's your main item or your sword. But this game, it's really both, or either one at whatever time. Which I feel like is like one of the first things that really grasped me about this game. It's like, like the fluid combination of both melee and range combat. Um, it works very well for this game. But yeah, bows can be stupidly broken, if you have the arrows. Instead of french fries, there should be farin fries. That would be like a new like restaurant brand. Like, you know, you're just going around Tears of the Kingdom and it's like, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> now I'm just saying that the restaurant's called farin fries and they just sell fries. So I'm going with that, actually. Yeah, I like that idea. My least favorite enemy to find in this game? Um, recently, I've been having a lot more fun with Hinoxes because uh, I realized how fun they are while using a horseback combat against them, which I didn't really do that before the soldier run. Um, but I feel like Hinoxes are still amongst some of my least favorite enemies to fight in the game. Only because they're just big damage plunges. You can't do a lot of interesting tech against them, like flurries. Although there's like one way, I just haven't figured out how to replicate it. Oh, <laughs> Moon Bomb's going good. Okay, Secret Stash. Excited to come here. It's nice that we have the map. Okay, that's a shrine we got for the warp point uh, when we did the Yiga stuff. Which, the Yiga stuff's all dead. We had to do that in two rounds. One in the base game, one in the DLC. But basically, we had to wipe that. Otherwise, uh, well, we wouldn't have gotten all the kills. Because if you don't get all the Yigas in each pass, there's obviously no way to re-get them since they leave after those encounters. And the hideout's empty. Okay, this is not the best way. Usually I just, you know, I tuck a little bomb in there. That's nice. Oh. I wonder if I could, I could have pulled this through to break open the thing. I think that's what it's for. But oh well, secret stash. Uh... Let's see what we can take. A Radiant Shield? Definitely. It's like one of my favorites. Golden Bows, whatever. I prefer other range bows. Uh, and no modifiers, but still decent weapons. I'll still take it. And that's Long Throw, so yucky. Uh, is that no modifier? Yeah. Even the uh, 30 damage sword isn't too good at this stage, but still better than a 25. if I consider flurries to be secret attack. I mean, specifically against the Hinox, because, like, I feel like most people don't know you can flurry a Hinox, you know? Like, there's a very specific move. Um, but usually they're just, you know, the biggest examples of just weapon fodder in that game, or that's what you use against them, and there isn't too much strategy, so most people don't even think to do that. Zoom and bows are the bane of your existence. I, I totally get it. I used to be more fond of them. Uh, I remember when we were doing like the initial challenge runs. The first two theme runs we did were Shika and Gerudo, which were the, uh, as you know, they're the only two races that have zoom in bows. So the very first two challenges we did, we had to deal with zoom in bows, and it was very annoying at times where we had to have other bows, or it would have been more helpful to. But oh well. <laughs> and individual use are not bad, but as soon as you realize that Rito bows have the same range without the zoom in, I feel like most people just try to switch to that and don't like the zoom in bows as much. All right, so the reason I'm going down here um, is because there is like an area right there. It's actually, it's technically part of the highlands, actually, even though it's kind of closer to the desert. 
And <laughs> it's not very high up. It's uh it's technically the Gerudo non Highlands, I would say. But still counts. Yep. Good thing we have our Oh cool what? <laughs> but it counts as a desert. There's another area in the desert where I could still use us. That was more rocky, but why not here? Lame. You disagree and think the Lynels are the biggest sponges? I mean, they're spongy, but at least they're interesting. Like, I, I call Hanox the sponges because, like, you know, the sponge doesn't have much intelligence. I mean that both in health ways and intelligence, you know? Sponges are stupid. They're just, you know, a sponge. But a Lynel, he has, they have a lot of health, but uh, they're interesting fights. They use a lot of moves against you. Uh, a lot of ways you can counter those moves. Um, have a high skill ceiling. So they're very good fights. Oh! How very painful. Okay, now we got uh, <laughs> the Wizard Police on us. Also, where did that? Uh oh, wait, he got frozen. I guess fine by me. Bye bye. <laughs> that second arrow just lifted up to uh, death. Oh, we're almost done. We have, we have a grace, right? I'm just gonna use it. That's fine. And also, sure, I'll take the loot. <laughs> We're back in the desert. No. I was trying to get out of the desert. But it was worth it for the 20 arrows. Dynamic spawn. <laughs> There's so many dynamic Lizalfos in this area. It's nuts. Oh, great. We're going to hope we have the stamina. Do we? Right, we don't cook meals ever. Uh, <laughs> I'm just waiting for Mifa to do her thing. Okay, now we're gonna BS it. Yep. <laughs> it's just barely uh, hilly enough. Or not hilly. <laughs> oh. Wait, where do you come from? I, mean, I assume you were a spawn. Oh. <laughs> I'm going in an odd direction so I don't spin into him. Bye. Bye bye. Again, not a range bow. You know what? We're going to use that for this because it's my only range bow that isn't an ancient. So. Where are you? I hear you. Oh, there you are. Bye. Is that a blizzard, too? That's going to be insanely helpful for the cold area. Here, let me nab it after this guy meets his doom. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, the key starting the day was a spawn for the um, wizard, magician. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Some beams for you? Sure. Free bees. Also, yeah, these arrows are great. We used a lot of arrows today, but I'm pretty sure we replenished a bit more than we used. Just because, uh,. Yeah, there's a lot of those, well, silver and gold archers, which drop up to, like, 20 arrows. Oh, hi. Yeah, you too. That was one of the mandatory choo-choo barrels. That's, like, one of the few exceptions for enemies, because uh, we're doing all enemies, but we're also counting the choo-choo barrels that always drop choo-choos, along with the, uh, the metal size, because they're enemy enough. If we're cleansing the world of evil, I feel like destroying all the malice that we can't still is uh, a fair objective. Yeah, okay. What, like a long Thor drill shaft? No. I mean, it can be kind of fun for when you uh, need to break like those far away uh, either ore deposits or just like those rock clusters. So it's, it's technically not an awful buff for a drill shaft because it actually does have throwing utility. Beyond other weapons where you throw it and it breaks. So yeah, I can argue that. Also, good loots. Nice. I like these 
Just top of the desert ruins. I'll take the crates, but I think we uh, ride off the region. Yeah. It was a dry desert, but with no en more enemies, it's a dry, dry desert. Wow. Because, <laughs> you know, monsters, things, have water. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm pulling my map again. We, we did these three and we counted them. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I'm going to make sure we got the pebblets because I didn't realize that those pebbles were mandatory. And also all the barrels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine more for the count because we added those three previously. So that brings it up to 87. Cool. Now let me just sweep the region because uh, yeah, all the barrels should be out of there. And pebblets too, which luckily we have a thing for pebblets now because uh, <laughs> very tricky to find. There was that one area like east of Hyrule Field where there's just tons of pebblets um, where all those like elemental enemies are. Sometimes I don't know if they're all gone. But it seems like with our Sheikah sensor telling us that they're gone, means that they really are gone. Okay. So I have to be thorough when there's many enemies involved. But first things first, I think before we actually go to the islands, uh, yeah, that climbing was kind of a wake-up call. I think we should quickly go to uh, um, an ace, a place with a goddess statue so we can exchange our orbs. So let's do that really quick. Um, I think Hateno could work. Kakariko. Yeah. We actually have the Kakariko war point. The Hateno one's slightly farther. But yeah, let's do it. Ugh. To know they're actually called Peblets, that's so cute. It's such a cute name. I love that. I love like the mini things that walk silly or do funny things. Do I have any Netflix recommendations? I don't watch a lot of shows. Recently I've been binging uh, shows from the Breaking Bad universe, so recently Better Call Saul, which is very good. Um, I might try to find something else before... Uh, <laughs> Well, before Tears of the Kingdom takes up all my time, but I'm not sure. I'm not a huge show person. It's like some shows, show man, some anime, you know. I heard Arcane's really good, um, especially the animation. Like, I really do appreciate stylized animation. Um, there's just so much animated stuff that like, looks the same, you know. So stuff like uh, Spider-Verse or even the new Puss in Boots movie, like, very stylized animation, very good looking, uh, and actually set themselves apart from like 95% of modern animation, like especially stuff that like Disney's doing and uh, I don't know, Illumination. So I appreciate when an animation studio really goes all out with something unique. And yeah, Arcane definitely seems like one of those shows. Mm. The Last of Us show, I watched the first episode. It was actually really good. I realized it just like finished, I think, a couple days ago. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep going, though. I didn't play the games. Um, the thing is, it's going to sound weird, but I have like a massive burnout to just any sort of zombie related media. Like, I feel like just just growing up in the, the 2010s kind of killed that for me. Like, zombie stuff became so oversaturated that like it just it pains me a bit. Also, that was a mistake. <laughs> These choo choos are, or chickens are bad today. They're not hitting me. Ow! No, not the radish! The radish was innocent. I was a guilty one. Don't break it. Alright, well, they killed something. Alright, let's do a couple of these. Let's actually be prepared for a hard area for once. Am I gonna watch the Mario movie? I might watch it. I feel like I'm in the small minority that is not very excited for it at all. Mainly because it feels very much so like, you know, how like the Minions movies are. Like that kind of humor. Which, I don't know if it's really suited for my age group. I love Mario stuff, just not the Mario movie really. I only watched like the first two trailers and I'm like, eh, maybe I'll see it, but not fully for me. 
There we go. Um, stamina. That's what I need. I'm like I'm missing something. These will be amazing for climbs because we have more stamina, but not super ideal. And that's still so much nicer. We want the whole playthrough with the wheel and a half. I think ever since the first stream. So, um, let's do that one more, and then let's head off to the highlands. Because the Mario movie had to be made by Illumination out of all companies. Yeah. I mean, I was a little disappointed when I first heard that, so I didn't have high expectations regardless. Also, there's Sanke Carp in here. Oh, my Sanke Carp. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to give myself up like that. And you just can't move the way I was hoping. I think this is a drone moment. It's quicker that way. There we go. Did we scare the fishies? Yes, of course we did. Sorry. Committed to getting a fishy. Keep it as a pet. Sanke carp. <laughs> They're really only here. Prize winning fish though. She really got it unique. It doesn't have any effects. It's literally like the same effect type as like a Hyrule bass. But oh well. All right, let's save up and uh, yeah. Check out the highlands. The tower should be the best point now. And really kickstart this. Everything before was just kind of the interlude. But a lot of enemies in that. Um, look at the highlands. Yeah, so that stuff right there, that's the Yiga, which is technically part of the wasteland. It just, it's kind of a weird horn in the region. Um, but yeah, I guess we can start kind of maybe on the shelf and kind of work our way through these mesas, the table. Um, and go for it, yeah. The best plan is not having a plan. Also, I realized I kind of warped to the wrong thing, but it's okay. Also, hey, Wild Child, thank you so much for the membership. Much appreciated. Okay. Well, this looks just about right. <laughs> and this extra stamina will be very helpful. Because it's so important. No more Gale. There's ways to kind of make your own Gale. You could use the campfire method if you just light like three or four campfires together. But it only takes you so high up. It's very specific. So. Also, the pepper strats. Lighting a spicy pepper on fire creates an updraft. But yeah, it's pretty minor. And ultimately doesn't help too much unless you're really in a pinch. Or like there's something unclimbable. Uh-oh. <gasps> no, not a shock keys. Okay. We're going to time this well. So you don't bump into me. Whoop. Yes, okay, we timed it. Oh, no. He knew. These guys are just so disappointing. The first guard of the Highlands. Proper guard. I wish I could just flurry rush you. And of course it's raining. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, snow, okay. I can do that. I, I can't do the rain. See, that's one nice thing about the snow area is uh, it can't rain, so you can't slip. Also, I don't think it can thunder either, right? Pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no rain is very nice. How hot are those peppers, right? <laughs> Set on fire just creates wind. Very spiced. Now only 50 day, 58 days to wait before the release of tears. Nice. Yeah, I believe that means uh, there'll be about like eight more streaming weeks of this. Um, with the way we've been kind of going in the pace, we should finish that final week before tears. So like, you know, just a couple days before it comes out, which will be perfect, actually. But yeah, we'll be doing this every Wednesday. Um, one thing I will mention, though, and it is in the description. I didn't mention it yet, but... Next week's stream is a rare exception. We're going to be going live on Tuesday instead of Wednesday. Um, it's one like the few exceptions, but I'm going to be busy that Wednesday. Um, it's actually my girlfriend's birthday, so we're we're going out that day. But that's why I bumped the stream a day before. So it's in the description. But I'm letting you guys know now at least first too, and I'll give reminders. But yeah, that will be fun. Also, Korok thingy. Could pick it up, yeah. 
But we can get the ball rolling. And the more it rolls through snow, the bigger it gets. I think that's such a unique mechanic in this game. I mean, it makes sense, but it's cool that it was implemented. Good things about snow areas, no friction, no rain, harder enemies, cool caves, and puzzles, yeah. Honestly, it's got a lot of cool stuff. I like the snowball puzzles in uh, Hebra that have like those giant doors involved where you gotta like roll a snowball like tactfully down a, a mountain. So it builds up momentum, builds up size, and then eventually breaks down a door. It's cool. So yeah, we finally have the proper arrows now. They're not gonna line up for me. All right, um, well, our first thing is apparently right over here. What is it? Oh, <laughs> a little talus dome. I shouldn't say little, but talus. And luminous. Well, good thing about this is we recently upgraded this, so uh, I have unfreezable because it's all level two or more. Is it gonna be a back one? It's a back one. Okay. Now that is cruel. Uh-oh. Ah, hit him again. Okay, good. Don't crush me. Well, they're hard for any other method, but if you have a spear, they're very good. Or we don't have a spear. I we have, we have a drill shaft. But I will break it on this fight, and I kinda wanna avoid that. Drill shafts for novelty use only. What the? I just feel like that did like zero damage. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, let me do that again. There we go. That did a lot more. Wait, what if we hit it behind? Get it! Yes, we got it! We hit it from the behind! <gasps> Boomerangs are good too. Okay, um, I'll take that. I'll have to find the boomerang afterwards. Also very handy. Okay. Mm. No! A <laughs> little bit of a fail. We can be on top of the gem, kind of? Involuntary jump attack. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna wait it out. Like that. Okay. Now melt him, and... Not quite. Is he gonna fall or no? <laughs> this is serious now. There we go. So you can't regen too much. And we've been blocking a lot of regen, luckily. Get him again. Stop. <gasps> We're so awkward to fight without a... Nope, don't crush me. Yeah. Awkward to fight without a good spear. All right. Well, you know what time this means? Drill shaft time, finish him off. Yes. OP as always. Good job, drill shaft. Breaking apart the hardest of rocks. There we go. <laughs> no time to find that boomerang. Yeah, <laughs> these guys are making me delirious. Gotta take it serious. There we go. Where long Thor could be helpful. Man, it just bolts through multiple. That's so cool. Can a hammer do that? Not as well. That's why drill shaft's OP. Okay, now we gotta find that uh, boomerang. Because that was also pretty OP. Oh, is that. It is Farosh. I almost forgot that Farosh comes here too. Frosh is everywhere. The jungle, Lake Hylia, the highlands. That's why Frosh parts are like the easiest to get. Also, I... We didn't pick it up, did we? It didn't break, I don't think. Sometimes boomerangs should suffer a fate of uh, not agreeing with the ground itself and just falling through it. I feel like that's the fate it met. Rest in peace, boomerang. Luckily, there will be a lot more of you here because uh, the Highlands have a lot of boomerangs. That's okay. Good start. 
Damn. I had one really good play though. Hebrew is Ferocious Winter Cabin. Literally. Like a vacation home. But his home being a whole region. I mean, when you try to fight the Lionel there, Ferocious can interrupt. Which you can use the updraft to its your advantage then. Which is kind of neat. Lowness issue. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I have unfreezable. I should not be scared of him. Um, let's update the count with that one. I almost forgot. 88. <laughs> Alright. So up here, there's going to be an even higher table. And this has most of the enemies then. So we're looking at a large variety. We're looking at some, uh, let's see. Oh, well, first, mark off the Talus. Blizzard rope stuff. Ice press lizzles, which are pretty easy. There is a camp. Um, a lot of minor enemies. Mixed in with minor enemies. Okay. Not too bad, but some of those might scale. Okay. Things to look at while we're just slow and climbing. All right. Multi shots are amazing for moving targets. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure which arrow hit, but one of them did. Another blizzard rod. I could actually use that. Be awesome for that Elden area. Which we could take some of these to Elden next. Because uh, I don't know what, what order I'm really going to do these regions in now. I'm just kind of going about it. We kind of have a natural flow to it. Just whatever makes sense. Eventually I want to do the jungle though. Jungle is very awesome. I feel like it could be fun to do sooner than later. Okay. All the one-shotters. Wow. Um, I don't need two blizzard rods. As good as they are. Also, something I don't really notice. Uh, the charge timer for the boomerangs is heavily reduced. Like, so I can just instantly, like, pull it back. Or, like, other weapons, it's a bit of a wind-up. Like, this, this guy's just instantly back. Which makes sense, because it's a throwable weapon. But it is nice, because if it had the same slow draw, it would be annoying. That's three. Yeah, I think this area should be pretty easy up until a little more further. Because Highlands is basically just a bunch of these high, flat cliffs, and then a bunch of stuff in the center. But this first segment is just, yeah, basically cliffs that kind of V around this hill. But a lot more of the meat is here with even tougher stuff. Okay, good weapons, but that's stuff I all need. I'll take the boomerangs over everything. Yeah. <laughs> Start pretty simple. A little scouting. Looking pretty good. We got a chest right there. Clear skies, of course. Oh, hi, Pigeon. <laughs> oh, and actually not a trap chest. A real one. I prefer those a little bit. Fierce Daddy Sword. That actually reminds me. I, I should scan another amiibo before we do more. Because um, we have quite a few, and I do want to pace them out through the day. But... In the subject of Fierce Deity, I think we should go for that one. So, let's start with Jorah's Mask Link. Oh, he's... <laughs> oh my god. The lighting's literally perfect, so he's like the same shade as my green screen right now. But, at least you see the, the Gordon Mask. You do the honors, Wolf. <laughs> Get mushroomed. No. <laughs> Wait, that didn't even kill. Jeez, okay. I mean, he was the one being violent. I was just, uh, defending. Oh! Okay, we actually... Yeah. I, didn't... I was not expecting that. We have everything but the mask now. It is pretty expensive to upgrade, but... I mean, I'll take that. 
Yeah, a little chilly in this temperature. In the cold areas, we'll still have to stick with this, so. Uh, that was awesome. I'll take it. Awesome. <laughs> okay, what are we doing after the count? We have... So, we did that guy. One, two, three, six more. We'll add that to the count. And then take on that area. Good to know. Uh, 94. Good. <laughs> So close to 3,000. We're going to get it after this area for sure. And yeah, the run is over 60% uh, done, which is very nice. All right. <laughs> Snowball, man. Come on. You should know better than that. <laughs> Snipping because it was unexpected, and I like those moments. Ooh, the golds are coming out. Eh, not ideal. More ideal. Wait, we do have a good rod for this. Oh. Doesn't hit everyone, but those ice enemies keep meeting that same fate. There we go. Ow. Not my radiant shield. The fireball hit him, yes! Okay. I know it's gonna work that well. Surprise, we're still dodging that other guy. Okay. Now it's bow time. <laughs> Getting crossed in major crossfire. Okay. okay. Taking a gamble. Have to kind of like. I'm not really counting shots because they have infinite ammo, but more so counting the timing between shots because that's typically the same. Okay. <laughs> it's fine if it's badly damaged or. You know what, yeah, we could free up a slot. Okay, now we're being left with the hard guys. But a lot of babies are now destroyed. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he did that to himself. You know what, we'll take advantage of that. Very good. He literally hit that choo-choo. Okay. While you're frozen for quite a bit, we're gonna bully your friend. <laughs> Hitting into him. Okay, yeah, push him away more. That's totally fine. Ah, uh, more damage is good. Because <laughs> your friend's gonna wake up in like three, two, one. I overestimated. Oh, okay. <laughs> Add another second in there. Well, thanks, Mipho. <laughs> End of the spin? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Had to dodge and get ready for the next one. I don't know how I leaped that far, but it worked. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stop doing that move. Perfect. Okay. You're snappy. Can't have that. Bye-bye. Wait. Sure. Never mind, he moved too fast. You want to follow up? Good. <laughs> A quick damage and doesn't give him enough time to recover then. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Love ragdolling him down and then just doing the final plunge. Ultra satisfying. Get shocked. <laughs> no spear. That's, that's been very annoying. At least in panic situations, I've been trying to at least stay somewhat aware of my surroundings, so I'm not getting poked by everything. I think we handled it pretty decently. But yeah, obviously a lot. Hmm. <laughs> the hidden loot. What is it? I don't know. Yeah. Again, late game areas having very meager rewards. I got over 10 times that amount. Oh, I got over like 30 times that amount from just the enemy drops, actually. If you sell the, the gems he dropped. Yeah. Oh well. Was that mostly everything? It was a bit chaotic. 
Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> Got peaceful pretty fast. Mm. Play Master Mode, but do enemies regen while they're frozen? They do. So, uh, you know, you can't really keep frozen enemies too long unless they're just freshly frozen, like weren't attacked before. It's a nice attack up, but sorry. <laughs> So freezing enemies is usually a tactic I only use if I'm gonna follow up right away for extra damage or um, just something I do at the beginning of the fight to kind of decrease the numbers a bit. So they're frozen while I can take on other enemies. But I only do that to silvers because gold enemies break out in the freeze within like three seconds. Okay, I'm pretty sure these guys are just dynamics. But I like making sure. Also a lot of chests. We're gonna get all the stuff first and then see how it is in the region. Because there's a lot of choo-choo's leading up to this. I feel like these might be uh, static spawns. <laughs> an amber? <laughs> what? What was that whole descent up for an amber? All sense. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes it can be weird. Roads are a bit lame for combat challenges. That is true. In the early game, it's more balanced for sure. Mm. Not just the late game ones. Yeah. I, I think it's more so in the late game, but also it's like... I, I see the counter argument where it's like if you get amazing rewards and just amazing loot from the enemies, it can be too amazing. I don't know. I, I just think the worst, honestly, is when it's uh, a monster chest that has, like, a weak weapon in it. Because at least, like, weak money, it's still money. Like, a purple rupee. But, uh, there's literally, like, a very hard monster camp in Akala. That gives you, like, a silver scale spear. Which you probably don't even want to pick up at that time that you beat it. Because it's, like, all gold enemies. So, yeah. <laughs> a lot of treasure chests. Not all good ones. Um, let's look at this. So we got all those guys, obviously, the choo-choos. Is there bats? There are bats. Okay, that's what I kind of figured. Let's let's do those bats first. There's a lot of these skull things that have bats in them, and the only... Oh, wait, did we kill all those? If you don't mind, I just want to make sure. Because I didn't know what things were dynamic or not. If we recap, uh, dynamic means that the randomly spawn static is Devon placed enemies. So, those are the ones that we kill. Because stuff that randomly spawns, we can't fully stop because we'll keep spawning. But okay. Um, that was it. Let's do this count. Because that was quite a lot of enemies. Um, boop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So yeah, those three packs of Choo Choo's were like normally placed ones. So they do count. It's funny because they all just led to that one amber chest. I feel like that's what they call a joke. <laughs> but okay. After we add all this up, we have... Uh, 3,016. So we finally passed, well, the mark. Wow. Um, <laughs> 3016. Yeah, it was a big camp to just kind of push us through all that. And yeah, and the Highlands is going to be even more. Because there's going to be a lot of those tougher enemies mixed in with looser ones that really count the numbers. The technical name is static and auto place. Dynamic actually means something totally different. That's true. Um, when I say dynamic, it's not really the technical word for it. Um, dynamic just means that like... When something's dynamic, it's not like Seth. It's like it can be anywhere. So I guess technically speaking, auto place would be better. And I feel like I probably could use that because I feel like it is a bit more clear. Yeah, honestly, now that you mention it, I feel like maybe trying to say auto placement instead of dynamic placing is better. But static spawns, I think, are still static spawns. Okay. So moving on. Yeah, it's like each little like plateau or flat has enemies. Just like one big camp. Are we too up far off the side? We're not. Okay. Wait. 
Am I going the wrong? I, I was kind of going the wrong way. But we have a cycle. Crates? Who's storing stuff around here? Just random crates. Someone want to claim it? No, I will. Ah. I think I know what this is. A camp with bananas in it. Hmm. What are the bananas doing here? It's not the bananas, it's the ego. <laughs> The, oh my god. I literally haven't seen this since like my I think second playthrough of the game. I don't I don't recall ever coming back here besides like Yeah, it's been a very long time. Maybe once or twice at most. But yeah, it's literally just the Yiga camp that's here. Um I'm pretty sure the only spawn here after you beat the hideout. So it's kinda like a retreat camp. Like after you clear the hideout, kinda like the remnants are kinda forming a little hideout up here. But yeah, it's cool. There's just three of them. There's literally just one Yiga camp in the world, and that was it. <laughs> so out of all the camps, uh, the Yiga camps start and end there. Well, besides the hideout, which is, I guess, technically a camp. But, yeah. Still cool to note. And uh, duplex bows are a good reward. Because I know we have a damaged one. And I know I'll take one over that. Super good for, I mean, Korok puzzles, which we're not focusing on too much, but they're nice with the moving targets. Or just, you know, shooting Bacoblins off horses. Many different uses. I will take advantage of this pot, though. I should get the snow boots. I much prefer the snow cool set because we can have the unfreezable buff then. So, with snow boots, we, we're not slowed down by the snow, but we can still be frozen by things. With this set, we got unfreezable, which I prefer that because travel isn't too much of an issue when you have the master cycle. So, that's, that's my reasoning. Otherwise, snow boots are really nice. Uh, a lot of good stuff there. I will make some of this because it can come in handy. Let's make like three attack buffs. Yeah. And then one more uh, enduring. Because we're not at a cooking pot a lot of the time. And it's very rare that there's a cooking pot just like this and a convenient camp. Since this is a run, I will forget to go back to towns to cook and stuff. Snow boots plus Xant helmet is peak. Okay. Because, yeah, unfreezable for, with Xant helmet and uh, no movement restraints with snow boots. But then you still have cold stuff to worry about. So you'll have to have, obviously, well, cold resistance in the torso and either a food buff or uh, a flame weapon on you at all times. But, yeah. I guess that is a way to solve everything. It's always been weird that the boots you wear in the snow cool set don't count as snow boots. Yeah, that's fair. And honestly, you can make a counter or like uh, an opposite point that the snow boots don't give you cold resistance because it feels like they should. Also, hi, Amber. What is this doing here? Huh? Why is there an amber here? Is there supposed to be an amber? There's never loose gems. One second. <laughs> this is tripping me up. I, I'm, I'm looking at it. Okay. Um, am amber. No. Why is there an amber there? It's, yeah, it's not common to find loose gems. Let's say I broke a crate and went flying. But that was a long time ago. It was like all the way over here I broke a crate. Sorry, that's just really funny. I didn't know if it was actually loose, but it's not. Anyways, uh, we got enemies. We got Ice Keys there. We got Octorox, Blizz Robe. And then we got some harder stuff going up there. So. Oh, wait, one second. Have to mark off the Yiga. Now let's find these Ice Keys. Oh, probably a Snowball Fell? That's true, because Snowballs do have the, the Ambers in them. That wouldn't make sense, actually. Nope, you're probably right on that. Because they occasionally can drop gems, the snowballs. But the fact that it's broken is kind of funny, too. Maybe there's one that just triggered a spawn there, but it always falls. 
I don't really recognize this. Oh! Wait a second. I saw that there's keys on the map, but... This seems very foreign to me. What is this area? There's a... A Moblin Club? I will always be excited by the littlest things I didn't know existed. Wait. Yeah. It's literally just a cave with a... A ceremonial Moblin Club. Were the keys, like, worshipping this? Like... Wait, what? I guess that always is a modifier, too. Not that that's the most surprising thing. Of course it's a long throw. Uh... But that's technically damaged. Wait, but that's also... Yeah, I'll just take two again. <laughs> that's very interesting. When I saw a bunch of keys there, I'm like, is there a cave? Because I know some are just, like, loose, oddly. But, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Very well hidden, too. Map location, that is, uh, right there. So, it's on that Zekro Mesa. On that left side. where a traveler made their final stand most likely well i wonder why the monster weapon i guess they can use them but yeah it's so peculiar it just bats very high ledge and then just a, a thingy sorry i still like the the head cannon that the keys were worshiping, worshiping the weapon so oh actually maybe good no he didn't fly close that's a trap. Oh, never mind. It's a Korok. Why do I think it was a chest? Or a fake chest. Like, doctor ones. I think eventually we can go back for, like, one more slot. Might as well. Sorry, that was so cool. I'm just happy to find new things. And an amber. What's, <laughs> what's with this mountain and ambers? Yeah, the two treasure chests that had ambers in it, out of all things, and then, uh... Well, I guess the snowballs can have ambers, so maybe there is some sort of correlation between... Snowy areas and amber? I don't know. <laughs> I'll see yeah, a lot of fake chests. Wait. Real chest versus fake. What? Can we not? Wait, I wonder what happens if we put this on it and then we stand on that chest. This is such a stupid thing to do. Is it even going to work? <laughs> it did. What do you know? That was a very awkward hitbox, though. It just kind of floats. Oh. <laughs> uh, I wanted to crush him afterwards. Okay. I didn't want him going away. Eh. Well, we do have to go down anyways. What's with that? Uh, ice triangle. Not sure. Get this first, get the loot down there, and then go back up. That's so good, we keep getting <laughs> Moonlight Simters with uh, attack up, but not what we need. It's always like attack up five or six. I wonder what the range is on them. Yeah. Of course, we keep getting attack up on a weapon we don't need, and long throw on weapons we could actually use. But of course, long throw paints that beyond oblivion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's tainting my wards too. Okay. That wasn't it. I know this wastes a lot of fire arrows, but... I can't say wasting for something I have over a hundred of. Well, it's gotta be you then, right? Sorry, this just kind of piques my curiosity. Nope. But that is interesting. It's three... Ice things, and then... A triangle shape of trees. So triangle ice, triangle... Tr this feels like it should be a quark puzzle, right? Huh. Is it a quark puzzle? I've done all the quarks before, but I, I don't recall this. No. Yeah, why would that be like that? I don't think I've ever actually seen that in me either. Because this is a very awkward area to be in. Uh, usually in the Highlands, I kind of just loop directly around to that. So, 
I can't say I really recognize any of this. What if there's more caves that might be around here? We'll do like a 10 second search. <laughs> it's some loot. Is it another amber? Or... I don't know. Burn the trees in the same order I did with Vice? I don't think that's going to be a thing. Plus, you can't really burn trees. You just break them down. Um, no, because if it's not a car puzzle, it can't be anything else. Sorry, it's just, it's just odd, you know? I'm looking at the map. Is it actually something? I, I don't think so. There's an ice guy in the center, like directly in the center of it. It's not a Korok. Okay. Remember that because I 100% I, I it twice. Oh. Um. There's a dot right there. It's probably just a tree. I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of, it's positioned in a suspicious way, but it's not actually suspicious. Because I assume that can happen in games like this occasionally. Things are just positioned weird. It's not tied to a quest. It's... Huh. Sorry. Just very unusual. Don't fall in that. And then the cave with just the weapon being on a pedestal. Wow. I don't know. Sorry, that kind of threw me for a loop. But in an interesting way. Because it's like, I don't know. I'm gonna take a ride up. Boink. <laughs> Free elevation. Why'd I do that? I don't know. Next one normal. Wait. He... Oh, it, what? <laughs> no, we, we were too close and it worked. Didn't work. Whatever. Ah. Usually I can just hit him. Yeah. <laughs> Never boundaries. Oh, that's back. Okay. Oh, wait, that's the moonlight weapon. It just kind of went back in its place. Interesting. Highlands is most players' least explored area, which makes sense because it's like, you know, maybe that ambition to go here is a lot less considering there's a lot of other snow areas. Like, well, Lanero, Hebra, one of the plateau. Um. Sorry, one second. Okay, so obviously that's all cleared. It's four, five, six keys, three Octoroks, and a Blizzard, which makes ten. Okay, so let's update that count to 26. That'd be nice. Um, let's pull out that cycle. Now I know there's some actual camp stuff up ahead. It depends on which way we go. Um, we could probably plop down a medallion. Yeah, that's an actual chest. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just curious to see what they're actually hiding in here. Hopefully not a Gruda weapon or Amber. Actually something I can use. Okay, good. There's something very awkward. I'm getting like one of each type of arrow. Do you mind if I see something really quick? Sorry, there's something very peculiar with the loot in this area. Um, if we go here and... We can search in just chests, I believe, or maybe there. So there's normal arrows, there's fire arrows. There's an amber. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. This is just so weird. Just with, with those triple trees and then the symmetrical ice by it. Sometimes I get sussed out. I'm like, is there like an Easter egg that I didn't know about? Maybe not. I just feel like this is a weird area, um, which like never happens. <laughs> and the cave on top of that. It's like all players when they go to Satori Mountain the first time, they're just like, why is this so different? Why is there just different orchards for everything here? But on a much smaller scale, of course. Also, how did my bike instantly kill the dog when it took like two boomerang hits earlier? Welcome to episode 100 of me being sussed up by everything. All 100 episodes were in this stream. Sorry, I canceled the shot. But not really. Another one. 
That could be pretty easy. We'll plop down the medallion. World's so big, so much stuff I definitely haven't seen yet. I feel like it's mostly here in Hebra. Only also just because Hebra's so massive. Um. Wait, this is especially because at least there's enemies everywhere, so it's kind of going to kite me to areas I haven't seen. Um, but in Hebra, there's even just so much like dead space in there, which is kind of open exploration word. There's definitely things I haven't seen, but I'll never be able to fully recall or memorize Hebra. Because just like so many hills and little valleys and mountains and it's crazy, but it's good crazy. Okay, yes, these were all easy, guys. I appreciate that. I know it's not all going to stay like that. The uh, the west side of Highlands is a lot trickier. Because you replace all these ice guys with, like, silvers and golds. Okay. Interesting. Um, where to next? I'm going to take on this slope down, actually. Because we have that there. We can take on that chunk as we do. Oh. <laughs> the snowballer. He's excited for someone to come up, but... <laughs> Man. You should really check a six more. Farewell. You know, fine. Snowball seemed to be his fate. Hey, don't run all the way back. No. What? Why did it do that? Ah. Amber. Damn, I was really trying. But it just popped up instantly. Okay. Down here. And I know there's some stuff in this valley. This leads to the, uh, the Yiga hideout. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I know where we are now. <laughs> also, yeah, more ambers. Okay. So something about the snowballs are just keep breaking. I feel like I haven't seen that too often before. Moose. Moose, 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 moose. We missed the moose. Got the wrong guy. <laughs> that time was just you, I promise. It's okay. Moose can live. His injuries will heal. Oh. Yeah, what is going on? What? Why does everything keep breaking apart? Was there enemies that just broke up? Oh, it's bait. It was bait. I didn't expect that. He baited me with that amber. I just thought it was more weirdness, which it was, but okay. <laughs> Very interesting, Lizzles. Wait, so were those night only enemies? No. Yeah. For some reason, I didn't recall that too much before. You know, I, I've been here, obviously. Also, I love the cutout from Yiga Hideout to uh, Snow Area. Just sudden. Okay, let's see what we actually all, all killed. <laughs> that was some good bait. Um. Oh, wait. We have to take out treasure chests. <laughs> so we got this camp. Clearly. We didn't get the ice keys there, though. We'll go back. <laughs> yeah, then we got that guy, those three. Um, and there's some guys around here. Let's take out that camp. Sorry, it's awkward when I have to keep going back and forth. Yeah, maybe let's get this guy, that camp, and then the shrine. And then we'll go back for this stuff. So, okay. Interesting. They did plan well. It was very tactful. So, of course, credit. Hmm. Yeah, somewhere on the slope. It's like around here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's a weird place to kind of keep watch. But, sure, I'll take it. 
How do low level enemies have dragon bone weapons? How are they able to defeat literal dragons? Well, I think what it's referring to is, uh, you know how there's a bunch of like those like Leviathan bones around the map? Like tons in the deserts or like, there's like separate like, uh, like areas like the dragon bone mire. I, wait, it's not on my map, but it's there. Um, I feel like it's these bones. That's how the dragon bone title comes from, which I feel like makes sense. So, <laughs> of course, not everything is exactly local though, but oh well. I'll give him a pass. Video game logic pass. I didn't update the counter for Yiga. I can check that a little later if that's okay. Um, maybe in the next loading screen. Let's see. Oh, camp. Uh oh. Damn it. <laughs> my bullet time. Ow! All because my bullet time canceled. And this has to come really quick because. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> He was going to hit me otherwise. We just had enough stamina. Ow! Two for one. This is going to be a tricky camp. Um, yep. All silvers and a gold. Yeah, there's like four of them. Two is tricky. Three becomes pretty hard. Four is a lot. Yep. We're going to manage it. There we go. Nice. Uh, he will attack, so we can't do the whole combo. Because we'll end up right in that. Oh! Wait. Guess that bypassed a lot of it. Okay. At least Goldie's out of the fight for now. And we have the Master Sword, which is still helpful. Okay, <laughs> just kept hopping around until we got that flurry. And he has to die. And again, okay. That's a very easy move to bait out and uh, go in for many hits. Whoop. Me first. Down the hill. Oh, arrow shot. No, the archer's over here. No, 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 no. He has an eagle eye. Okay, hit the archer, make the, drop that bow even just for a little bit. That's perfect. Cause he's not a bow guy anymore. Yep. Okay. This has been pretty tough. I do want to take the loot though. It still is very good. So ideally, I'll make it work. That's fine. It's the non-weapon attack, we won't die to it. Better. Hit him far so we can take on him. Oh, come on. I had that parry too. He's gonna run around, yep, okay. He met in the middle. It's been going better. Sorry, I couldn't see where he was. <laughs> Whew. Good. No. All right. Quickly. Get up. It did one. Yes, from the back. <laughs> I did something. Oh, no. Ah, man, that was my last fairy. Okay, this is so intense. I don't mind using a little bit of food. Stay protected against deaths. This weapon's not nearly as good as a Master Sword. Come on. If we keep doing this, I'll get a bow out for, so I can follow up the shot to the next guy. Not in the combo, I can't. Mm. Shot good. Okay. 
Fung what? Okay. <laughs> so we can predict some of the combos or things he do does. Oh, no! Not before I. Whoop. Nice, okay. <laughs> Good to be very snappy about this. And then. Hazel and Bet. You too. Go back and forth. Um. We have Blizzard Rod, but I'm not going to do it with that. Oh. Yep, we got this. We're faster now. Yes, okay. As long as you're always moving in a charge attack, it's good. Whew. So nerve wracking. Bye bye. <laughs> Man. Well, it really did help to have that uh, little bit of heart buffer with the fairies. But we, we did pull through in the end. That is probably one of the like top five, if not top three hardest camps in the game. Just simply because it's four Lizalfos. Like, really, nothing else spectacular beyond that. But three silvers and a gold, if you're trying to find them all at once, yeah. I think probably the best tactic that's not as interesting as just blizzard rotting and then taking on the gold and then the silvers. But at the time I didn't think of it. But that probably is the best way to do it. Uh, but no deaths. And look at this reward. Tons of wood. Yes. Very sturdy reward. We're clearly not sturdy. They're all cut down. Hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Haven't updated anything in a little bit for the count. We'll do these whiz robes. I don't need to do the shrine that's underneath that ice. It is a very fun shrine. It's the one where you bring like the ice cube up. But no enemies in there, so not gonna be a bother. Oh. Good bows for that. Oh see, yeah, I guess uh, these guys get the Blizzard, or just ice rods, actually. All right, do that. <laughs> wow, you need to cool off after that fight. Luckily, it's very cold here. You don't think Tears of the Kingdom is worth seventy dollars? Well, I think I'm gonna put it this way. The funny thing about Tears of the Kingdom, it is more money. But technically, because of inflation, it is actually cheaper to buy Tears of the Kingdom when that comes out compared to when Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. Because $60 in 2017, with how much inflation has jumped, uh, is technically more money than $70 today. But I don't feel like a lot of people factor that into the argument. Also for the big thing being that games have been $60 for like 20 years. And, uh, well, that means basically games have become cheaper for the last two decades. And the only reason why companies were able to afford that is because as games will get cheaper, obviously the gaming industry is still growing. So there's more people buying their games, so it kind of leveled things out. But now because inflation is so fast, it makes sense that companies have to sell games for $70 now. Like PlayStation, uh, they've been doing $70 for a while. And this is just Nintendo's first $70 game. So, although for the simple sake, more money bad, yes, but it does make sense realistically. Because, I mean, think about even Ocarina of Time. That game was $60 in the 90s, which in today's standards would be way more than like 100. So Ocarina of Time, when that came out, was much more expensive than Tears of the Kingdom. Which, yeah, like, obviously games should be affordable, but I think overall the price point is very good for what you're getting. Because you can get a lot of hours of entertainment from the game. So uh, at least it's not like $100. $60 in 2017 is $73.64 this year. Yeah, so technically this game is cheaper than Breath of the Wild. When you put it like that, it's kind of wild. And obviously it's like technically speaking. Uh, the subject of economy in general is very broad, but yeah. All right, then we'll take on this guy. And yeah, if you get a Tears of the Kingdom with the vouchers, uh, it's 50, which is nice. It requires the online stuff too. 
That's what I did personally. Uh, because for Switch Online members, you can get two games for $100. But a tier is included in that. Also, he steps on the Talus to do damage. That's been happening to me more recently. It's funny that you can do that. And I hate how this is another back... Uh, a back weak point guy. Makes it a lot more annoying. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Go again. It's not the most damage, but that second hit does numbers. Ah! Don't do a number on me. Thank you. Times where I actually use stasis very heavily. It's worth it for that. Also, I should be getting the spears more. What? Lame. Yeah, that second hit does it. Let's just melt him. It's an easier way to just get him down for a bit. Log throw weapon. Well, boomerangs are good, but we did lose it last time we tried it. Oh, and don't crush me. I know you turned funny there. As long as we get that second hit with the heavy weapon, it does send him down, which... Oh. Oh. Hope you don't know I'm not actually passing jump those times. It just does the jump automatically. Here we go. I don't even have time for a spin to win. Uh, There's a good sword. It's a 72 world claymore. No. Don't crush me. Ow, it did. It was inevitable. Okay. Hit him. No. Got stumped. But there we go. Ride the arm up. And then back shot. More stylish way to take one of these guys down. Right up the arm as he's attacking you. And perfect. Well, at least we have all of our stuff. The first print of Ocarina of Time was $80, which is like 140 of today's dollars. That's crazy. So it, it really is awesome how games have becoming like cheaper over the years. Just, you know, by the laws of inflation. Because uh, $140 for a game like Ocarina of Time is still a lot. Uh, but, yeah, I guess if you think of that, of that way, uh, a tier is literally half the price of Ocarina when that came out. So, it is wild. And yeah, again, like one of the biggest reasons why the price point has stayed the same mostly is because one, since gaming has been growing a lot, obviously more people buying the game because of growing consumer base. Uh, and two, to stay competitive because it's like, especially the like 2000s era was very competitive for gaming. So what if one company started raising their prices, it would be, um, well, it would offset the market a lot towards the competition's favor. But now things are pretty set in stone. Like, we know what the big three is with, like, you know, Nintendo, Sony, maybe Microsoft. Uh, but the 2000s were wild. Like, no one knew who was going to be on top. Everyone was kind of doing their own battles. So they had to do a lot to stay competitive and ahead. But now the market's a lot more leveled now. Yeah. <laughs> These are the things I think about just when I'm, yeah, thinking holistically about the industry. Because that's fun. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see what we're at. We are at, um, so I'm going to go for these peblets, and then I'm going to go for the, uh, the keys, and then we're going to do a grand count of everything. So that should be, like, a lot. Only did it this way because we missed some of the keys previously, and it would have been awkward to count around them. Because I like to, like, count a whole camp at a time. But some camps have nighttime enemies, and I forget to do them. So. Hmm. <laughs> Plus, if you consider a replay value of a Zelda game, it's worth it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm also a firm believer that not all games are created equally. Also, nice boulders. Like, I feel like Zelda games are very much so they can justify the price point. But some games, even like some of the Kirby games, uh, not as much game, and they're still $60. Or like remakes. Not to say they're bad games at all. It's just there's a lot less bang for your buck. And clearly, a lot less development time was one on them. So... Which, the same can be said for Skyward Sword HD, too, because, although, has a lot of quality, it's still a remake for a $60 game. So, I can see that argument. 
But yeah, not all Nintendo games are created as equals, but they are priced as equals. Killing these little guys. I, I hate ruining the pebblets, but yeah. Ice is nice. Oh, he went back. <laughs> I feel like I never see him go back like that. Oh yeah, them remastering Metroid for 40. That that was that was a good decision. So at least, yeah, it's better than 60. You've been loving the run so far? Great job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, for those who've really been sticking with the run, I uh well, I don't have enough ways of saying thank you because it has been a blast and we are, well, obviously like over 60% of the way down with that, almost two thirds. So it's, it's been a great adventure and a great way to wrap up, you know, the Breathwald era. And yeah, I mentioned it earlier, but our last stream of this will be that final week before Tears comes out. Like judging by the pacing we've been doing this. So we will finish before the new game. Awesome. And then yeah, also uh, next week's stream. Sorry, a side announcement. Next week's stream will be on Tuesday at six instead of uh, Wednesday. Just a one-time thing. So, just so you guys know, I have it in the uh, description too. Also, did we did we get the keys? Did we not? I'm. It's in the morning. Oh, they're up here. Okay. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna eat an apple. Important strategy. Important. Plucking. <laughs> I'm plucking them like apples. And a fourth. Nintendo's probably scrambling to remaster Prime 2 with uh, the success they got. Yeah. A lot of people got Prime. Uh, if you haven't played it before, it's very fun. It is technically an FPS, like first person shooter kind of thing, but it has much more emphasis on puzzles and like storytelling and like navigation, I would say. Uh, so it's not like a fast paced, like first person shooter kind of thing. There is some stuff like that, but it's Metroid, especially the 3D games are more about like exploration. Uh, so it's, it's very nice. All right. Um, now we're gonna do a grand count of everything we just did because it was a lot. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The trap. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. The really tough encounter. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-nine enemies. That's very good. Okay, um, how do we mark this all off at once? Maybe just, uh, whoop. yeah, wait, oh, yep, technically, just to be safe, okay. <laughs> so 29 enemies, we can go maybe on Mesa, there's a Lionel, and then yeah, keep charging our way west then. First, let's update that count, uh, 50, 55, okay, quick math. <laughs> I counted one twice, I did? <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, five, six, twenty-one, twenty-eight. I did. Okay, I think it was in this area. Yeah, I double counted one of those. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, there we go. <laughs> also, yeah, thank you. Just always Platinum. Uh, for those who no don't know, Platinum helps a lot between the runs to help out just with things like enemy counts. Uh, well, for this run, he helped me find initially like that map that you see that I pull up, like where everything is, especially during the challenge runs too. Um, just like with like starting information or just like uh, even like little ideas. So honestly, this stuff would be a lot harder without him. So as always, thank you. Like it really is appreciated. And yeah, also picking up on all of my mistakes like that. When I double counted was the left most blue dot in the canyon. Okay. Well, we're good now. And that's what matters. Um, the two blizzard robes at the shrine, 
if you do the shrine before killing the blizzard robes, they never reappear. So it's one of those odd cases uh, where enemies just disappear after a certain thing is completed. Which, yeah, Platinum also helped figure out a lot of that stuff, too. Let's go to zero dislikes on the stream. Isn't that awesome? For, like, this last year, I haven't gotten a single dislike on any of my videos. It's very uh, nice, actually. Sorry, that was such an odd decision. How, like, dislikes got removed from YouTube. I'm like, oh. Because it was such a staple of the platform, I guess. But, oh well. Regardless, thank you guys for the likes and the support. We hit 400. Our goal is 600. So, we're pretty close. So, thank you. 400 Wu Tsu. <laughs> Made the list of the one-time missable dummies. That's right. <laughs> like those guys. Well, in a sense. Or, or like the quest link ones. All right, first Lionel of the stream. There are two Lionels in the Highlands, so we'll get them both. <laughs> now people just leave salty comments instead of disliking. Yeah, that's always expected. All right, let's do it. Whoa. Without an attack buff, we can do it. Nope. I hit at the same time as you. Mine are better. Spinnies. Those aren't good. Oh. <laughs> kind of did a weird 180 there. That's what I was trying to avoid. For some reason, I tried to flurry it. What? No. Parrying much better. <laughs> I lost my Radiant Shield. I didn't appreciate that. We need a new one. Oh, we got a parry. That counted somehow. Sure. I'm doing it without uh, the right on back stress. Oh, we have arrows now. And yeah, I lied. Right on back. We have attack up, but as long as we have this master sword, uh, it's fine. Find the way it is. Ouch to the shields indeed. Bye bye. Okay. Whoop. Butt slap. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It did 100 damage again. I'm pretty sure when that move just hits, like his body hits me instead of his weapon, it just does harder damage. It is such a lucky uh, way to dodge that. I'll take a heart compared to all my hearts. So thank you. Nope. Whoop. Yeah, that attack, I can't consistently counter it. I only know how to dodge it. And the shield surf jump works very well for it. Because they instantly get momentum towards another way. Wonder him. Sure, that can work. He, he, he. Oh no! Oh, we were not quite under, actually. It can work. If we actually do it right. Okay. Like this. Again, very dangerous. And you probably shouldn't do that. Nor should we have, because... Nope. Okay. We have a backup route. We don't need it. Lighters are so fun to fight. Can never get sick of this. I don't feel guilty, because we have, like, unlimited hits in this weapon. Ah. Not quite a hit. That's fine. Oh no, that wasn't fine. We have other shields. Lies. <laughs> no. Good thing I had a high guard at least. <laughs> I should not be playing with fire. Or gold rather. Okay. This crusher, yeah, I feel like this is a, an attack up one. 
please. <laughs> He's going down for a long time. Okay. Headshot. Nope. Uh-oh. Wow. Very determined. Bye-bye. Bye. Just die. Just... <laughs> yes. <gasps> Man. Okay. We're doing stuff outside our normal strategy, but I, I liked it a lot better that way. A lot of options. Okay. That is 30 shock arrows. I like. And 100 damage crusher. There we go. That's our new power weapon. Yeah, the max is a 108. Uh, I knew I lost the attack up. That was the only way it ripped through my uh, Royal Guard shield. Because it wouldn't have ripped through it as fast. Uh, because that first hit wouldn't have taken it to critical levels normal. But. Wow, okay. That'll be an excellent Lionel Slaying weapon. So it makes it very worth it. Okay, what do we drop? Knights. <laughs> so many crappy bows. And a quick shot. I like quick shot. Well, all right. Uh, last shield, though. <laughs> we got to see this one through. The eye shield. Also, yeah, there's a wing gust here. Have I tried using guns? I totally forgot about the guns in this game. I, sh I should have, you know, brought a couple guns. That would have been helpful against the Lionel. This is why Broton's cooler and smarter. <laughs> just Ancient Arrow? Yeah, totally. That's very fun. Okay, um, yeah, that was just the one Lionel. We do have a couple ways. I I might take this top stretch and at least plot my medallion down so I can take down the lower stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess the wing gusts here so you can get around. Or over. Which makes sense, obviously. Also, yeah, I'll check the count at the end. Um, I, I still didn't get to check the Yiga thing. But, yeah, we'll have to make sure. And plus, like, that, like, last or second to last stream, uh, we're rather, like, at, at the end of the second to last stream, we'll do, like, a grand check that week to make sure we got everything. Because it's very possible that we messed up one thing, we double counted or something. Uh, and I'll be able to find it. I know some people have helped, too. So I appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, that'll be no biggie, so... At least we'll go and fully prepare for that final stream, so we know it'll just be everything in the castle. Because that's probably what that's going to be. Final stream, just the castle clear out. Because there's, uh... I mean, there's 70 big enemies, but there's a lot of, like, loose enemies. So I think it's at least 100 enemies in the castle. Another way to get over. Cool. Is there a gun mod? I don't think so. I don't know how that would work. I mean, I guess technically, um, well, the closest thing to a gun, and I say quote unquote, like with very big quotes, uh, would be the Royal Guards bow because it is the fastest, um, it's the fastest firing bow in the sense that the arrows travel very fast in that. And technically, if you mod the Royal Guards bow to have the quickest draw and also the quickest arrow speed, it basically makes something that's pretty similar to a gun. Because the arrows fire fast in that thing, it has quick draw, the time between shots is heavily reduced. Um, <laughs> so it's almost like non-realistic to a bow and fires more like a bullet then. Yeah, that's about the best thing I got. <laughs> or no, rather a Sheikah rifle, there we go. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Ice guys. World yep. cards gun. Uh oh. Oh yeah, unfreezable. You know what you need? A nice d dose of the drill shaft. Ooh, a sapphire. You break him with OP things, you get OP rewards. Cause that's totally how it works. So. <laughs> oh, guard. Guardian. What the? <laughs> well, I only have one shield. I better not break it. Oh, I still have one fairy. I didn't actually know that. Why am I doing this? 
At least it didn't break my shield. Okay. I'm not used to pairing this far. You have to die, Guardian. <laughs> yes! Okay. <laughs> That's kind of nice. When's the piggy and fry showing up? Actually, in a bit. A little bit. Because, uh... Well, we've been streaming for a little over two hours. I gotta take a very quick bathroom break, if you don't mind. Um, when we come back, we can actually do another amiibo, but... Here. Let us just pause right here in this guardian field. However they got over here. And then, uh, we'll have someone watch the stream, of course. Because... Well, keep it paused. We have Penny, and we have Baby Floyd. So, they can watch the stream while I'm in the bathroom. Give me, like, 90 seconds. Uh, yeah. They'll probably kill, like, a bunch of enemies while I'm gone. So, hopefully, I don't get, like, too ahead. Um. All right, be, be right back, guys. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> Glad I paused my game so I wouldn't uh, die to something unsuspecting. Thank you, guys. Woo! Yeah. Hey, Jess, thank you so much for the five. And enough to pay it for Tears of the Kingdom. But here's a cool tip for an amazing uh, creator and friend. As always, thanks for the great content. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you could be here, and I appreciate it so much. Woo! <laughs> well... Tears is already paid off, but this will go for the DLC fund. How about that? Because there's likely going to be DLC for the game. And uh, I will need it. <laughs> the game and the amiibo is pre-ordered. Did not make a special edition, sadly, for the game. But that's okay. <laughs> did, did Baby Floyd and Penny kill a lot when I was gone? And they just took me back here, too. I guess we'll never know. Okay, just a little berry field. What is actually next, though? Because there is quite a bit. A lot of these treasure octoroks. I feel like I need to hmm, maybe set my sensor to scan them so we don't miss anything. Because, yeah, they can be easy to miss. Yeah, let's take a picture of the next one we see. Get rid of the choo-choos. Those guys on the wall. Might as well take the summit up and take down the lower area afterwards. We'll say it's a good plan. I, I think it can be. Does the ancient arrow count as a kill? It technically does, but I'm not going to rely on that. I like normal killing when I can. But saving ancient arrows for guardians, especially sky watchers, because there's still a lot of those. Okay, amiibo time. As promised. Um, well, in the spirit of the Guardian. Well, not really Guardian, but Gandorf. Ganon. Guardian. Enemy. Yeah. Ganondorf. Okay. Mm. We did a couple today. We got the Fierce Lady armor from one, which was nice. There we go. He's the money man. 
Wait, don't. Crate, don't hit me. Okay. I'm a little inaccurate, but very powerful. Get back here. <laughs> That's what it's for. Well, oh, come on. That's a crappy one. <laughs> it's okay, at least some money. But it was long throw. Which is a crappy one, but... At least we can be nice and give them the long throw treatment. How special. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll do a few more throughout the course of this. Should I duplicate? I, um, I have learned duplication and, uh, like, durability transfer glitches before. I don't really use them because, uh, I usually just don't have the need to. I think there's a lot of weapons in this game, uh. So it's cool to mess around with. It could be cool to like duplicate like the Hylian shields in case you want more. Um, especially like the modified ones that you can only get once. Um, but yeah, really haven't used it uh, besides like my initial times trying. Same with like IST, but I actually never did that in general. Oh, hit the projectile. Twice in a row, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't use a lot of glitches. I use very specific ones a lot, like wind bombs, uh, like this. The spinning the spear thing, but getting like the hitbox to work. Um, yeah. Why well, I know there's a lot of glitches in the game. No doggy, <laughs> don't hit the bomb. Also, it makes sense the charge rock rock was in the little treasure area. Bye bye. <laughs> Free meats. Okay, now we just got some loose stuff over there. And we'll con it all up at the end. It's another one of you, isn't it? Or no. <laughs> There's just so many buried chests in this area. Magnesis is really your, your best friend. But between the enemies dropping a lot of arrows, uh, you know, the silvers, the lionels, all that. And then these occasional chests. It really is just so much replenishing. Uh. Yeah. Feeling evil. Yes! It actually worked at the last second, too. I thought we were late. But it was just perfect. He didn't have a moment to see. Bye-bye. Oh. Sorry, that was so funny. Totally unnecessary, too, but... I'm just glad we did it. That was, that was pretty good. I'm actually surprised we got the trajectory, like... Just about perfect, too. Stasis launching has been one of my more favorite things recently. Do the wolves naturally spawn? Yes. Um, most animals, like, just spawn, uh, auto, like, just auto-spawn around the map. They have some set locations, like, specifically the bears, which we're not counting as enemies, because I don't think that's fair. Um, they're hostile towards you, but enemy, no. Same with the animals, um, because it's like, they're just animals, they're trying to live. You can make a similar argument against monsters, but, eh. <laughs> we decide the rules. We're the slayer. <laughs> Why not? Oop. Somehow that worked and I didn't get flattened. But yeah, more arrows, again. Um... Is this shrine important? I don't think so. There is a shrine quest tied to this one, actually. At the stable by the Tabantha Bridge. Uh, that's where someone actually points this out. But me, same with a lot of other people, I think just found this. And it was pretty obvious on what to do.
fairly obvious on what to do. Not close enough? <laughs> do I have to hit the center? Huh. Maybe I just thought I hit it by hit like the side or something. I feel like that's what happened. Mm. <laughs> I was just overconfident. Okay, well, we don't need this one, I don't believe. Um, it is just, it's just a blessing. Like, that's almost no work for a blessing. But all right. It'll be a, well, not even a war point because I'm not getting it. Okay. But next, we're going to the summit. And right before we do, there's those guys here. Yep. <laughs> is it just two? I feel like there's a third one. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing too fancy. All right, cool thing about this guy. Um, the reason why they're here, too, because naturally you want to go to the summit, right? But they literally just tongue whip you on the wall. It's like probably one of the only locations in the game where you'll encounter this. But yep, they keep you down. There's one by like the uh, Lanero Tower. That's like that too. But yeah, still interesting. <laughs> oh, and you too. I don't use my good bow. You don't deserve that. Weak and crappy. Actually, yeah, I'll just loot you. Not always worth my time, but we're kind of just doing it anyways. Mm. Okay, as soon as we come up top, let's see what our count is at. Alright. Um, we'll do that stuff later. So we hit that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That decayed guardian. Nine. A little area. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. But I do want to see if we got all those choo-choos because I, I feel like we missed a pack. We'll still do 19. I'm just going to do a, a check. Oh. Just have to go separate. Okay, so it should be 19, but yeah, I, I have to double check. No stone left unturned. Travel medallion here. <laughs> so I feel like I only did two. Yeah, choo choos are obviously odd ones too. Is that a cave? No, it's not. Again, the winter areas have some pretty interesting caves, and we just saw a new one, so. What are you? Might as well take you. There's nothing good here. At least we got something out of it. Sure. <laughs> More arrow chests. They're really just everywhere. These highlands are just filled with arrow chests. And more. What the hell? <laughs> oh, there you go. I didn't get them. That's what I thought. I kind of killed first, asked questions later. So the fact that we got all the two is pretty nice. Okay. Um, And just to be sure... Yep, we got two right there. I'm checking my own end really quick. And then we definitely got these two over here. Okay. All good. Let's warp back. Hmm. Way to get infinite arrows. We used to do that glitch in a... I think it was our past 100%. Um, there's a few torches in the world. We used the one at the Kazakaza Bazaar. Where if you light like a multi-shot bow with a flame, like... You pull it out, you put your arrow next to the flame so it lights, and then shoot it at the ground. For some reason, something odd happens where you're just able to pick up all those arrows. So, um, with the five shot bow, if you light it, shoot it at the ground, you're able to pick up five arrows per, per volley. Because something about lighting on fire in those specific torches makes it so you can actually pick up the arrows that you shoot, which normally you can't do with a multi shot. Like, shooting a multi shot bow, the arrows just vanish. 
compared to a normal bow with worthy wounds. But yeah, literally just having it ignited by certain flames in the world makes it so you can pick up each one. So if you're willing to drain like a, a five shot Lionel bow, you can get like over a hundred arrows. So just like right off the bat. It only takes like a minute to do. So yeah, it can be handy, but it's something I s stayed away from when I like, it's been like at least a year or two since I did that last. Uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> Boomerangs are helpful for that. And the other Lionel. Okay. It's time again. I think this guy's a spear one. One time I won the sword one for that shield, but... We'll make it work. There we go. Um... You know, this time we're gonna go... We're gonna go with the speedy strat. We did a lot of variety with the last fights, but... This one... Let's see how much we can tank through with our new weapon. Attack up. Literally a 100 damage weapon. The attack up makes it a 150 damage weapon. Yeah. Okay, you have to... You have to attack too, though, Lionel. No, not fair. <laughs> Come on. Getting jumpy. Yeah, just a slightly good one, of course. It, it's slightly good. One time I'll get it. One of these days. Okay. He's gonna do fire, isn't he? Nope. Jumpy. Okay, I'll take. Yes, another butt smack and going with that. <laughs> this is really fast though. Not even a minute gone in the fight. I'm not using the five shot bow, that helps even more. Uh oh. At least we got him there. Hit the back, please. No. Okay. Well, it's still fine. Too speedy. No fireballs. At least we're not breaking the shield. I'm so determined to keep it now. It's like, I can't let it go. Broke too many shields and everything on the last guy. But if you really want to just up the ante. It's not a five shot, but it is quick shot. So we can get in more shots. No. Technically not. I gotta keep these multi shot bows preserved though, because since these Lionels don't respawn, uh, these are the only ones we're getting. Well, goodbye, Lionel. Let's hope he has a good spear, not just a long throw. I'm really hoping. Ooh, star fragments are nice. Okay. Nothing extra crazy with the drops. Drop that. Another quick shot. I'll take it. It's like the one instance I'll probably prefer durability up because we just won't see a lot of those. But quick shot's nice if you just want to well, shoot more in a given time. When you're on a tight, a tight Titan crunch. I'll say, yeah, not the best. Uh, but this could be helpful if you have another Talos with the weird thing on the back. Because um, spears are the best for that. Also, that Guardian weapon does kind of suck. That Moblin Club wasn't the greatest either. At least Guardian weapons are good against Guardians. But alright, um, there should be a lot of babies around. Regent Seam is a uh, very tough enemy followed by a bunch of babies. I guess this guy is different though. The tough amongst tough. Oh, at least we have attack up. Yeah. It's left with his sword in the snow. That is cool. More diamonds. Wow. How many do we have, actually? 35? But these guys are all in the hundreds now. I feel like we should do a little bit of selling later. Just to see how rich we are. Um, I know my thing blocks account. We're at 9,300 right now. Um, you can kind of see it. Wait. Let me just... Boop. Boop. 
There we go. You can see it better, right? <laughs> okay. Luckily, that side of the screen is usually not very important in the game. Besides that. But yeah, let's do a bit of selling later. I think we can easily be in the six digits. Uh, I think by the end of the run. I don't think we're going to be a millionaire, but maybe halfway there? That could be likely. Also, I killed something. Oh, that's when I killed the Lionel. All right. Also, thank you, Walker, for the uh, the dollar. I appreciate it. Who am I looking for? Mm. There should be peblets somewhere here. By somewhere, I mean kind of close. Uh, there's a moblin. Okay. It's actually on the other side. Because if you pull up the map, yeah. Moblin right there. Lionel. And then this whole pass just has a bunch of peblets and a couple treasure rock rocks, too. We'll have to make sure to get them all. Yeah, well, attack us running up, but that's fine because it's all babies until the next part. Because this final part of the Highlands we're going to hit. A lot more camp density, Lizzle Zolfos. Uh, because the hard stuff has really been in moderation today. But that ends soon. And yeah, for the map, for the enemy locations, that's all in the description. So if you're new, uh, well, first welcome, but we have a lot of those commonly asked things and uh, run resources in the description. Also set another attack up weapon, but not one I can really utilize. You know, literally strictly for being cool. Let's see if I can. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're just rocking a good setup, and that's for later. Sad. <laughs> And thank you, Walker, for another dollar. Pick it up. Chuck it away. Followed by these easier stretches. And yeah, there's also going to be a shrine here, too. Um, there's not too many shrines in the Highlands. Um, most of them are unrelated to the run, though, because you don't have enemies. But there is one major test of strength on the uh, other side. So that'll be fun. Also, great guardian weapons. We can pair with the, uh, well, the ancient armor. Let's see, just copious amounts of loot. I want to say the Highlands is the most, like, loot-dense region in terms of chests. Because, yeah, you can just literally travel, like, eight seconds and find another chest. Oh, those guys aren't good. We can outrun them. <laughs> Never mind. Speak of the devil. Another eight seconds in a chest. Yeah, yucky one. How many shrines in the Highlands? I want to say like, well, there's some kind of on the outskirts or a lot of them. Like that one with the, the shock switch we did. Um, but I think in like the main bulk of the Highlands, there's only like three. I want to say that's right. Okay. Anyways, pebblets are over here. Luckily, the frost ones stick out from their friends. We can outrun them. Good shot immediately. I really thought so. So, Wait, was that the chest we pulled out earlier, but it changed modifiers? I believe so, because I think we went far enough. Interesting. So, hi, Peblet. I'm going to take a picture of you so I don't miss any of you. Um, map. Should be right there. Good. Yeah, potential sapphires. Like, this, this guy will be a sapphire. I'm sure of it. Yeah? If you plant it in the ground, it'll turn to a sapphire. That's how they work. Hi. Take a friend. Or maybe not. Bonking. <laughs> you got shield bonked. You actually... Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wrong bow, but... It's what I have right now. Oh, you went pretty far. Oh, actually, not that bad. <laughs> Somehow we didn't get shocked. Huh. I could have sworn that was a horn hit. I, I tried. Maybe it was the other arrow that hit first. That was... That's fine. 
We'll still use it for something. Okay. Let's get all this area and then we're golden. Just because we have the bombs. Again, underestimating the bows. And there's still one more. Banana gem. Okay, something that's not an arrow in the highlands or a Garuda weapon? What? Okay. Oh, right, there is some over there, too. Um, oh, you. Bye bye. Here, let's check over here first. So we'll make these jumps. Very stylish. Oh, <laughs> that time we actually hit the open button, but it jumped far. Oh, and money. Okay. Double jinx. Or single jinx, maybe. Nice. Oh, there's a little pebble camp. I see. I'm pretty sure there's some treasure octals here, so that's why I'm checking the chests. What is this place? Yeah, it's the Highlands. Uh, it's by the summit. It's definitely the least explored area in the game. Like, I feel like he Hebra also counts, but people at least broad explore it more. I feel like with the Highlands, it's a lot of people are like, oh, another snow area. Well, I'd rather check out Hebra first. And then they check out Hebra and don't even explore it all, so they don't have much itch to go with the Highlands. So, it is very cool. But yeah, for how dense of an area it can be, it is pretty underexplored. Oh, I should use a second dose. Sorry, not the hugest fan of the beaving, but good so we don't miss them. Oh, there we go. We can just crash into them and it works too. As long as you're going with enough speed. That was not enough speed. Like speed and angle and whatever other factors. Wait. What exactly was it? <laughs> I feel like we're going speedy enough that time. Uh-oh. Oh. <sighs> there we go. Maybe the back tire hitting it. So like jump right on top. We'll just say that. Also, they go launching. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, and this is where the octo. Man, there's just so much here. We'll have to tally up the counts when we're done with all of them. That is definitely a trap. Not. Mm. Moonlight. Again, it's just so many of the Grudel stuff up here. Remember coming here in the Grudel run? We didn't even go super deep in this area though because there was just a uh, like we just had a lot of we weapons at a certain point but yeah there's really a lot here um it might be pointing to a dynamic spawn because i feel like at a certain point they start dynamically spawning in or auto spawning in rather um yeah let's see what we're looking at yeah so i think everything up here is good it was also pointing us to these two right there which i didn't kill but assuming it's all good, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I shouldn't talk until we got the treasure rock done. Then we can do the count from here. I think that sounds better. Okay. Wait. Oh, hero's path. <laughs> yeah. It's not even like a quarter or just barely a quarter of the way full. This is stuff in Hebra, that was pretty early. Um, as you can see, stuff's, some stuff's larger than touched, like the jungle, besides that beginning part. Even there, the Lionel Pass. Satori Mountain, haven't been there, let's save. Single Pass through Hebra. That area doesn't have any. The Ruins. Also, uh, Eventide Island, yeah. Th that should be coming up too. Like, I feel like maybe next stream we'll do the jungle. Maybe Eventide, I, I guess we'll see. I feel like we should probably do stuff in this corner of the map though. Oh, <laughs> don't map and drive, everyone. Huh. 
Ooh. Okay, I get into some hard enemies again soon. And no, you don't count. Wait. I wonder if I could just... Octorok. Rock. Yes, it was you. Oh, no. <laughs> thought I'd get hit by the tire. Ah, don't keep zipping. Uh-oh. <laughs> I saw that coming. I have to save and reload this one. Because treasure rock rocks don't respawn like that. Well, they do respawn if you reload the save. So, you have to reload the save because they fool you. You can't get them right away. Yeah. That's the sucky part. Why don't I drift with the master cycle? It's not always friendly to my controller because the drift button's in such an awkward position from the uh, accelerate. What? Again, we were so close? There we go. Try to make this work quick. Don't get hit by the lizard. We'll have time if we don't, which is no problem. There we go. Um, let's change target. It just makes it so much better for these guys. No gold rupee drops, just silver. But if we can get a silver rupee from that guy, that'll be cool. That just never happens. So I guess I can drift if I move my thumb, but then I can't turn my camera. So that's really the big thing. So, I mean, yeah. Wait, is drifting, or do you always have to hold drift down? Wait, is drift a toggle or is it something you can just press? Wait a second. Oh, for drifting it's, wait, I thought it was something you had to hold down. I didn't actually know that. Oh, so if you just, Press the drift, if you start a drift, like that, it does the drift, then you can move your camera around. That is so helpful. No, I generally did not know that. I was like, you know, so weird. Like, I, I don't drift as much as I should because, uh, you know, I need to turn my camera. I'm like, wait a second. That seems like something that can easily be fixed. Maybe just something I didn't understand, and turns out it wasn't something I understand. So, now I do. Good to know. That's going to be very helpful. Okay, where is the last ones? They're over here. Uh, not what I wanted. Plunk. Plunk. What if we can run over rupees to get them? We can. Or maybe just because we're in an odd position. Yeah. <laughs> Can't potentially. Not easily, though. Oh, that's the last one. Hit him with the road killer at the end. Boink! <laughs> yes! There we go. My loot. No more silly games. But the arrow primer work nice. So, do you really think I'm gonna do this? Actually, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to use the wind, I know. Who needs wind when you have this, though? Oh, wait. Yeah. Now I get it. <laughs> That's fine. I don't need Crocs in this run. Anyways, yeah, let's get this, uh, these last two guys. Dust them away. There we go. Sorry, I'm gonna turn this beeping off. <laughs> no beeps. Thanks for taking the drift suggestion. It's the best. It, yeah, that was really awesome. Thank you so much. Because I'm like, if you're suggesting it, there must be a more convenient way to do it then, right? I'm like, yep. <laughs> Makes sense. Highlands fall victim to a simple size issue. Too small to have a big attraction. Too big to be interesting while blank. That's fair. It's not like Hebrew, which is like, there's like the big mystique of it. It's so large, so you want to travel. But it doesn't have anything like specifically like interesting. So I get that too. But I guess just for like roaming around, it's pretty fun. So it suits that really well, and I also get why there just has to be areas in this game where it's just fun to roam around in, even if there's nothing big. Uh, but yeah, I still appreciate it, though. I think the one area in the game that I think is the most boring is, like, this sort of area. Like, anything around the Lost Woods, besides, like, that. But, like, there's just a lot of... It's kind of a lot of dead space, but it's fine since you're just mostly trekking through it anyways. It's not meant to be, like, deep explored, like these areas. Uh, but yeah. Overall, I think the world is very well made in this game, so I really can't criticize. 
Anyways, let's check our counts. Um, oops, almost forgot about the map. So, um, one, two. So I think I'm doing the whole plateau at once. So Lionel, Moblin, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 15 in the plateau and two we just killed. Uh, just to make sure that there we go 17 enemies doing a chunk by chunk like this is a lot more manageable so um 91 right yeah almost at 3100 now it's my highest damaging bow um i guess technically those guys but ancient bow would be my best single shot which i'm pretty sure ancient bow is the highest single shot bow in the game right Besides Royal Guards, is that 50? And then besides Bow of Light too, I guess, so. But not a normally obtained one. Speaking of Amiibo stuff, let's do one more Amiibo before we catch on uh, with these guys. We're finally getting to the well, silvery, dense enemies. So Amiibo, we did, uh, we did Twilight Princess Zelda, Majora's Mask, Link, and Ganondorf. So let's go with a different game. We'll do two right now. We'll do, uh, the Wind Waker. <laughs> Again, Link is blending in, but this is the anniversary Wind Waker. We could potentially get the cool boomerang. Not a super powerful weapon, but still a neat one. <laughs> Sorry, fishes. Actually, let's get you quick before you freeze. It was so nice, though. I'm not, not in that capacity. Uh, it's only nice when there are extra loose drops. Oh, well. Next one. Can't do Wind Waker Link without Wind Waker Zelda who drops a pretty cool shield, which will be awesome because shield game, not looking too hot, so. There we go. Very loose plants. Uh, we got one really cool thing today from Amiibo, so I'm not going to be offended if we don't get anything. But I am offended that's an amber, so <laughs> you could have done better than that. That is a, that is the poorest drop you can get from that Amiibo. It's typically at least an opal. Oh well. We still have two more, we'll do them a little later. But first, <laughs> this core arc puzzle is interesting because there's enemies guarding it. I always thought that was cool. Um, for the sake of this though, I think it might be best to let the uh, <laughs> the lands kill him a bit. How much damage does that do? Uh, there we go. <laughs> Cancel. Oh, he's a bow guy. Which is not too nice. No. Okay, flip him up. Miss a little bit. Okay, I knew that guy was going to be a little too far. Nice. Those all do the trick. Now let's make him not a bow guy. Makes it easier. Oh, haha. <laughs> Can't punch me on a midair. Not easily. Okay. I guess this is a convenient way up. And the wind pushes up too. It's like trapped wind. Oh. And there's another camp there. Some high up, some low down. Interesting. These guys are usually on towers, but they're actually taking advantage of the, the step terrain. You know what I'm really excited for though? This is kind of another tears tangent, but uh kinda excited to see what they're gonna do with Sarah and Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like the Yiga hole is gonna be something more now. Uh I don't know. Because like this is a perfect area to add like an ice temple or something. So I guess we'll see. I know they're adding more on the map, so. It's always exciting. Fire shot. No! Uh I badly damaged it though. Even if it's not broken. <laughs> Damn it, there's like no shield in this region. Nothing has a shield. They're more about the offense here. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> come on. Really want to go in for that, but it didn't work. At least we still have the shield. Okay. Ooh! That's a... Yeah! That's an awesome spear. 
What's better than that, but I don't want to get rid of it. Um, yeah. These all have their own utility. Good master replacement, good heavy weapon, good Lionel killer. This blizzard rod will come in handy. We should use that soon. Boomerang I might drop because I know it's a bit, it might be a bit lower. Um, and we'll get more very soon, so. That's fine. I feel like they might add too much and lose the magic. I know what you mean. I feel like if they add something just very diverse, um, I feel like there's a way to have a lot of content while still having that Zelda magic. Because this game has a ton of content, but captures that perfectly. Um, it just means that maybe someone might not see it all, but it'll be there if people want to have it, you know? As long as you have just enough variety, um, you know, you keep things fresh. You keep just uh, new puzzles, new enemies, new weapons to experiment with. I think it can never get old. It'll still have that magic because it'll be very good. All right, there's another little camp over here. <laughs> Tons of Highland guys. It's crazy. Okay, we're going in with a little distraction. Um, okay, you have to hit the stealth strike. My entire strategy banks on this. St no prompt. Not a single prompt. Uh, why was there not a single prompt there? Okay, where'd the guy go? Uh-oh. Ah. Perfect time for a bomb. Okay. Don't focus on the archer. Fine. <gasps> no! It's okay, we got another one. It's a radiant, though. Which is... Oh, wow. <laughs> what a time to break. <laughs> Very interesting. And yeah, spin off. That's fine. Other guy can regen. We at least got one. Yeah, that was perfectly timed. <laughs> Sorry. I don't. I never pay attention to the master messages because it's just always there. So, or it's always in cycle rather. Shock. Shouldn't have done that. Wrong guy. But hit him behind here, and other Boko can't hurt us. He still can. Right, of course. Oh, he's about to draw five, six, and back out so we can dodge potentially. Good. <laughs> Good end combos early, because uh, if you fall through to the last hit, a lot of the time, uh, um, that recovery window is a lot longer than if you cancel the combo early. Plus, you can follow it up more creatively, too. Because sometimes you don't want to do a ragdolling hit. Because only the last hit ragdolls. So if you cancel before the last one, uh, you can follow up with your own combo after the flurry. So it's kind of cool. Corn Coblin. Yeah. These guys are the corn. I'm the coplin. But yeah, gold bocos, corn boco. What are my thoughts on the Toon Zelda games? I think they're fun. I uh, well, I played Wind Waker many times before. I did. I told myself that I wanted to 100% it before Tears came out because it's the only 3D Zelda game I have it 100%ed. Uh, I didn't get around to it, so maybe sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, I like Wind Waker a lot. Phantom Hourglass is fun. I played it once. Probably won't revisit it, though. In Spirit Tracks, I got about halfway. I'll probably have to, well, eventually go back to it. Because I never beat it. But yeah, Wind Waker especially is very fun. It is my least favorite of the 3D Zelda games. But, I mean, my least favorite of an amazing thing is still awesome. Again, yes! Oh, wait, not enough. <laughs> Crap. Would have been awesome if we had more hits than that. I, I digress. <laughs> Not like I can use the rod again. You know what? Not the intended use. Also, there's so many choo-choos. Almost all of them. Nope. <laughs> Mid-air. And good thing we have unfreezable. It helps a lot for these rooms. There's a lot of little trap things in here. Like, in this area, there's the chest with the ice choo-choos. There was the little Zolfos with the chest earlier that jumped at you. Mm -hmm. Your bearded dragon is, is watching me play. Awesome. 
<laughs> intensely. That's so cool. I like when people tell me that, like, either anything or even, like, pets, like, watch me play. Um, sometimes back at home, well, my parents have cats. I, I moved out over the summer, but uh, sometimes my parents play the stream to see what I'm up to. And uh, my cats hear it and they recognize my voice. So it's kind of funny. And I think that's really cute. It just made me think of that. You guys. Oh, <laughs> bit of a tougher guy. Also, Chu Shoes that got caught in the after explosion. Wait, he's really. Ah, oh, I thought he was being that dumb. Mildly. Not enough, though. <laughs> oh, times I wish he had less intelligence. Bow spin, yeah. Have you used that in forever? <laughs> that's another glitch, yeah. That's pretty nice. Also, yeah, 20 ice arrows. <laughs> that's what I'm saying about these silver guys that have, uh, that are bow mains that aren't a part of camps usually. I feel like that's the best formula. Um, because typically, like, the weaker guys have bows, so they're easier to take care of. But as part of a large camp, uh, those guys can have bows, but usually don't have special drops. But if it's just, like, a lone archer that's a high-tier variant, that's usually when they have the good drops. So, it's very odd, but that's just how the game works. Because they have special, special loot pools because they're an archer. And they don't have that way in the camp because they're all the same type of enemy. Um... Because it would be weird if you killed a melee guy and they dropped those arrows too. If the weapons got switched around. Yeah. Whoop. Ow. Just notice we're over, over 500 likes. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Almost at the 600 goal. Yeah, so thanks again for uh, showing your support and even just being here. It's always a great time. And yeah, this is actually really awesome. Um, I did not expect to have this much fun in the Highlands, but I can honestly say this is probably one of my favorite parts of this playthrough so far um just because i never really had a reason to go to the highlands um i mean i did but never had a reason to really stay in it for too long but now that i'm like fully equipped and like really wanting to just you know check out every nook and cranny of it it's really fun just kind of seeing all these little things uh how everything's spaced and yeah it is it's really cool I'm not actually checking the map, I'm just kind of killing things, and I'm going to figure out from there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were here. Uh, because the arrow. Right, that's where I fought the Bokoblins. I just didn't loot these arrows, because... Kind of hidden. Okay, now let's check the count, or the map, because... It can be hard without it. Um... Yeah, definitely. Um... <laughs> There's so much loose stuff, we have to go back there for the keys. There is a treasure octorock right there. Some pebblets. Let's start with that pebblet circle. Let's pr probably try to do this top to down and we'll s check over everything that we just did. Um, we can set our beeper to treasure octorocks again just so we, so we can get those couple and then get those pebblets up there. But once we clear out this whole like field, I'll update the count. This is definitely the best way. Love all the series is literally just kill everything that moves. It's it's so nice. Natural cleansing. The one that proves Thanos is right. Oh. Actually, yeah, we should take the elevator. Whoop. Yeah, that time it didn't hit me. It just really launched me. Uh, that could actually be good. I know it's better than something we... Do we use both duplex bows already? Wow. Not the best durability, that's for sure. Okay, take on the pebblets. Uh, also, we can see if any more choo-choos were here. Because according to the map... Whoops, I zoomed out funny. There should have been uh, six of them. And I just want to make sure I got them all, because sometimes you literally cannot see them unless you are dirt close. Three packs. <laughs> there's a lot of areas in the Highlands where there's just like three packs of, of two choo-choos. Very specifically. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure I got them all. 
Because a lot died in that explosion when I was using my bomb arrows when I started. I do remember seeing that. Okay, that's why I was a little... Yeah. But we're good. Now I'll just get these peplets. I'm going to go treasure rock to rock too. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> the chest blends in with those guys. And also I'm getting it now. So the back tire is what breaks them. So if you jump over them... Yep, okay. But you still need speed, obviously. Oh. Sapphire, though. That was like the second time. Oh. Or it's so nice, just that. <laughs> Come on, keep jumping. It's working, it's working. Go for it, go! <laughs> Jump! No! Come on! Ah, it's registering the hit, but not the speed, because <laughs> there really is none. That's okay, that was funny. Uh oh. Not funny when you're involved. Okay. They made it unfunny. Oh, wait. Go! What happened? I have no idea. <gasps> I have literally no idea. That was kind of just a lot at once. Mm. What? I thought I was mashing A. Not well enough. What? It actually hit into him! <gasps> Wait, are you serious? <laughs> it literally just... <laughs> he got peplet slammed and broke apart his body. That was amazing. <laughs> wow. Sorry. That was, that was too good. <laughs> I like these silly moments too much. Yeah, Moblin soaring to peplets, that's also great. The ice attack. <laughs> Okay, neat. I like that. You were guarding this chest, so it must have been something good. Maybe a sapphire. No, it's a sapphire. It's for sure a sapphire. That's more fitting. Okay. <laughs> Attack up isn't very good on those, though, because it only uh, works for actually the physical damage of the rod, which you don't want to do. The point of rods isn't to smack into stuff. It's to project attacks. I'm happy you did that stats video. Uh... Oh, the combat myth busting one we got up like a month ago uh because i did a whole research thing on rods specifically and like how the modifiers work with them how their damage outputs were and yeah basically the magic attacks are totally independent of the attack number the attack number just refers to the actual damage of the rod itself so uh that was a fun research project and like several other combat things okay Hmm. Almost through. Trick shot better than dude perfect. <laughs> the best ones are truly the unintentional ones. Okay, sorry. I think it's this guy. I just know there's a couple around and they're going to be in... No, ah, oh, of course, of course. <laughs> I forgot you jumped forward. Okay. We dodged it and we hit that. Good to know. The eyeball... Low money. I just really want to get a silver rupee. One of these days I'll learn the drop chances of everything more. Bye bye. <laughs> as soon as he knew his doom, it came. <laughs> Again? Oh wait. Uh, <laughs> slow down. Easier when I can slow down time. Okay, I think that's good then. Oh wait, where's another? It's always another. Where's this one gonna be? Bow's ready? Oh! Damn it. Not enough reaction time there. Not my fault. What? Oh, maybe it's a real chest. Oh, is that an Octorok? Oh! <laughs> Master jump! <laughs> Wait, I guess you can do that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Why not, right? Sorry. Sillies are good. Where's the other one? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Bye-bye. 
once again. Balloons, yes. <laughs> Keep going and rolling. That's nice. Oh, Drox faster than the cycle. It just zooms around so much. It's funny. You take it on the nighttime enemies while it's still nighttime. That <laughs> instant whip out that. Okay. Um. Take out this one. I know there's one that we missed. Uh, some bats back there. Jump. No. Yep, there we go. <laughs> it feels like it's so fast. I don't know if it's just a... Uh... Hmm. Is it faster to attack with two-handed weapons on a cycle compared to a horse? Maybe. It just feels like I can wind it up right away. Against that guy and the bats. Can I crouch parry? I don't actually know what that is. Sorry. I know if you get hit, uh... Sometimes with the shield, you can cancel, uh, like, like the blowback animation by crouching, crouch canceling. Uh, that's good when guardians start rapid firing against you, uh, because if you break your shield and about to fire another laser, oh, <laughs> nice. <gasps> Anyways, uh, if you break your shield and fire another laser, um, you can quickly crouch that shield breaking animation so you have enough time to get your shield out and parry. Because otherwise, if you just swap to another shield right away, they'll just break that. Sorry, that was very, uh, <laughs> funny. Yeah. That, that guy's auto-placed. There we go. We still have so many arrows. We started today with zero. Uh, so even after all that use. I mean, we used a lot of elementals too, but we even got more. Uh, what? You weren't supposed to do that. Again? It keeps happening. I keep hitting the projectile. All right, now that we did that, though, also, I was misplacing the shrine. Now we're going to check everything that we just did, because it was a lot. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then, Octorox 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Um, we'll start with 26. I don't know if I got that pebblet circle. Yeah, just to start with 26. But after I check that, we'll do the rest. Um, 26 minus 9 is 17. Okay. 31, 17. Awesome. <laughs> Not the best at mental math. Um, yeah, let's really quickly check if there's pebblets over there. If there's not, then we'll continue. Oh, we didn't. Okay, that's what I thought. Whoop. Break it again. Yep. There's another chest over there. Literally just chests everywhere. Spend so much time just trying to nab them all. What if we just did a drift circle? I don't think that's actually going to work. Why would it? But... No. Okay. But at least hitting, that, hitting them in that back tire with the jump is very helpful. Okay, <laughs> nice. Yeah, let's check the uh, the count again. How about that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We definitely got those guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So eleven more. We'll do it like that. Yes. Awesome. So with 11 more, that brings it up to 28. Awesome. <laughs> it just gets extra awesomes. All right, next should be the shrine. Um, 
basically the only shrine we're doing today because it's the only shrine in the highlands that actually has stuff we need in it which is an enemy only makes sense bird it's over here very well tucked away okay major test of strength shouldn't be a major challenge but we do have that guardian sword it's weak but we'll use it up because we'll be getting well at most three weapons from this guy I would assume so. All right, also thank you to everyone who's been uh, sticking around and welcome to everyone who's still tuning in. Yeah, we'll still go for about like another hour I would say, because that should be enough time to finish the Highlands. Um, we have some hard stuff coming up, but it is nearing the end. Yes, but thank you for watching. Also, if you're watching this as a VOD, uh, hi, and thank you as well. I know the majority of people watch my streams as VODs because uh, you know, not everyone catches them right away. Which is kind of a interesting thought. Because it's like, we're all here right now, but I'm pretty sure like 90% of my stream views come from like, actually after it's streamed. But yeah, that's okay. Also, I know time zones and it's not a good time zone for people in like Europe and over there. Mm. Have to do the silly, of course. Why wouldn't we? We almost messed it up too. Yeah, we'll start with that. Yeah, just to really milk out the damage. <laughs> Nothing down there. Not yet. He's gonna bloop into existence and... Oh, no! Ah, uh, what? <laughs> he did a side hop, that's okay. You know, maybe that's for the better. We couldn't join him. He's gonna try to break it. Wait, how much damage did that do to me? Wait, can I see that really quick? <laughs> uh. Ow. Was it just me or did I see like a huge chunk of my health bar get knocked out? No, it wasn't. It just, look at my health bar during this. I'm going crazy. Okay, that time I actually... <laughs> for some reason, I just think a flash of light hit it and it, it looked like all my hearts like depleted. That was totally me that time. Okay. <laughs> Disregard everything I said. Let's, let's ignore it. That was good damage though. <laughs> my apologies. Yeah. That's where you saw the same thing too? Okay, so it wasn't just me. Okay, that makes me feel a little better, actually. That, that was odd, right? I feel like it's like something you can only see the first time. It's technically water, so might as well. Or technically water, it is water, of course. Oh, something just technically water. Mm, off water. We're hitting it this time. <laughs> Save. <laughs> okay. It tanked a hit. Ah. <laughs> well, it's not broken. The durability up probably helped a lot. But we got it. I've been really trying to practice. Ooh, attack up. Okay. I mean, it's still a very weak spear. Well, let's see what else we got. <laughs> the loot's just flown around. There goes my shield. But a new shield. Literally no shields. I'll take that. Good guard. Which will last a bit. And... Just to see. Just to see. It's long throw, but it, an axe is still good. Even if it's long throw, axes are always nice. I want to say this thing is showing its age. Um, they are pretty durable. Most of these guys have like 50 durability, but I know this guy's showing its age. I used it a lot. It has to be at least on its last quarter. Okay. There we go. One more for the count. 
Then we can see what else is up with Hebra. He Baby Hebra. Highlands. Yeah. Shield lasts until the very bit, I know. Okay. Well, I think after we leave the shrine, we'll do the last two amiibos and then just kind of go on that binge for the uh, well, last guys. Here. Pull up the map while this is happening. So, shrine is good. I'm going to do that in the background. Um, It's actually kind of a few, too. Yeah. It's a lot of silvers. Stuff that can die pretty quick. Um, of course, there's got to be like one talus down there. But I feel like as we go about it, yeah, it's not the most awful. Also, almost forgot about that area. Interesting. We have a bet. Also, I feel like stopping in these treasure chests, uh, well, it takes a little time, but it just is fun. It's like, yeah, of course I'll do it. It's free loot. I'm glad we at least started on Hebra. We're about like maybe 20% of the way through because we went there a little bit in the stream. Banana gem. Yep. All right, Amiibo, let's do those last two before this little slaughter. So this one's fun. This is the Chunky 8-Bit Link Amiibo. Um, we will try to get his sword, uh, maybe the armor, I don't know. He's dropping a 10 stack of arrows. That's very good. Oh! Wait, did we get that one already? No, we didn't, did we? No! Okay, we got the Tunic of Time. Um, yeah, so we're actually getting more. We got the Body of the Fierce Deity today and the Body of the Tunic of the Hero. That's really nice. <laughs> Wear pants. I don't know. Uh, we'll get that. But still very nice. Um, we'll scan the last one in just right after this. If we get nothing good, that's totally fine, because uh, it's even nice to just get at least one exclusive thing in a day. But two is amazing. Um, let's see if we can go for three, though. This is the last one. This is the <laughs> Invisible Ocarina of Time amiibo. It's something specific with my lighting right now that's making him invisible. Don't know why. But Ocarina of Time, hopefully big or sword. Or maybe more of that set. Uh, but hopefully the big or sword. I'll still not take it. Um, okay. Oh well. Hey, that's so nice. Really can't complain about the good things that have happened today. Because, yeah. Oh. You are not a elemental. You take actual skill to take down. Okay. Oh, there we go. Interrupted the combo. Do not fall for that. That spear was right on me. Ah, uh, didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Away. Oh, Octorok. Oh, no! <laughs> Got bamboozled there. Ah, trying to flurry around the side. It's okay. Again. Oh, he killed himself. Inevitable. Bye bye to you. Okay. It broke, but there's tons of bows, right? I might as well even go in with that one, one of those multi shots. We just have it. Come on. Let me flurry. Ah, oh, hate that. Want something to combo. That's okay. Better than the headshot because he's going to dance around and I can get free hits. Sometimes not doing the most powerful attack helps. Because it allows you to follow up with different things. Alright. I'm just kind of down to slaughter everything in this field. Just like a maniac as fast as possible. And I'll suit my speed. Don't. Okay. <laughs> Let it crush me. The chest density is absolutely crazy. Yep. 
more guys. Ooh, a big pack. You know, I have just a thing for this. I know it's going to make me drain health. There we go. We're going to activate the, the spinny. Wait, one second. It's a bit awkward with spears. Or with the master cycle. Activate damage mode. So attack. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. The glitch is a bit weird. Attack, jump out of it. Cancel it. And then the hitbox is now active. Bye bye. This is not criticaling. Damn it. What about now? Go for it. There we go. Now it is. Yeah, it's not the best. It's better with horses. That was a big bust. Damn it. Well, okay. We can still do it like this. It's nice extra damage. Hate that they're archers. That's fine. Keep going. Gonna use up the spear. That's why we have it. And a big flurry will take them down in half at least. Pretty close. And again. Yes. <laughs> Badly damaged. You're so weak, but. It did some cool. The master car. It helps sometimes. But the spear spin method works so much better when it's a horse where you can keep on a you can just keep it on a nice canter and just do all the work. But with mass cycles, it's only full throttle. Full throttle now. Yeah. We're gonna switch to attack buff stuff. Because you know what? I'd rather kill stuff faster. Full stuff, we can supplement it with Nifa. We deserve to just slaughter these guys. There's going to be a lot of silvers. And... Okay. I think it's both those skull camps. That one and this one. This should be fine. Yes, okay. If you do it super soon, uh, even if it's just a little bit of horn plays, it does not uh, alert the guys. Which is handy. Sp especially for that. Okay, good. Glad we have the extra stamina. There we go. Easy killing. And there's going to be at least three of those guys. I can at least sense it. Three silvers. Oh, not even all. Well, this should be fun. Don't spit. There we go. I was hoping that would work. It's okay. Ah. Did not work in time. No, what? We side hop. Okay, we're a little close then. That's better. <laughs> Is he about to throw his weapon at me? No. Sometimes he do. And it, it really gets me nervous because uh, it rarely happens, but that's what makes me think it's going to happen the next time. Well, I'm least expecting it. Yep, that's okay. That guy does like no damage. It's a soldier we knight weapon. Huh. Now I brought us there. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. As long as we're killing them, sometimes I may not be able to hop around the right way, but.
What are we gonna get though? Maybe a radiant shield. I think some of these drop radiance, but no, <laughs> nothing good. Okay, sadly because of we got hit, we'll switch back to our, uh, you know, live long armor. Because now we actually don't have fairies, so yeah. I know we have to do it to ourselves, but I should really lure these guys out more. Because the last two times that I took a lot of beating in battle, uh, these past couple streams have been inside these camps. So maybe that's something to really take note on. <laughs> You are just someone who can just <laughs> perish quicker. I think this is a field we have. Yep, this is. We'll have Master Cycle Combat. Here. Let's try to perfect that drift technique. Here, get that drift going. There we go. Sadly, against these guys, it might be a little awkward. And then pop up again. Some more stamina gain. Some damage. I knew he was gonna spit. That's fine. He took the weapon too. That's not fine. Yep, okay. <laughs> now that my surroundings are open, I think I can get this a bit better. Okay, <laughs> we stunned him instead, but couldn't risk too much. Let him attack me. What? That's fine. They're gonna regen a bet, but not as much as I'm hurting them. Hit him away so we can hit this guy. Nope. Come on. No. <laughs> hey, when my camera's not the right way, I can't backflip. <laughs> Both, okay. <laughs> Sometimes it lines up nicely. Heard him coming. I hate when they back out. Here. Oh, his friend hit me. The spit is being so annoying. Mm. I'm gonna tank the hut. Yeah, I knew that was coming. And that's pretty good. I knew I could. And okay, that works. <laughs> really going back and forth. Did I use the guns yet? I didn't. I feel like with those guys, there's a couple windows of opportunity I could be getting. But it's okay. <laughs> Should parry the tongue attack? Not really, because with the flurry, if there's multiple things, uh, you can get seven free hits while time is like pretty much stopped. So I should almost always flurry the tongue attack. So that's kind of the main reason for flurrying in situations like that, when there's just a lot going on. Since it freezes time and you get to do the damage. Compared to parrying, where you do the parry, but all that damage you do is in real time. So that's why I like that. Wah. Yeah, the region definitely keeps that pressure on. So I'm like, uh. Let's see how this camp goes. We're not dying, which is nice. There we go. Kind of starting to fight nicely. Other guy needs it more, though. Uh, shield up, so switch to your ancient bow, because that breaks shields. There we go. Super nice. Okay, I know they're inside, but I feel like I can take them this time. Being a little less confusing than normal. I'm gonna let the other guy charge me. Like, and so I can, ah. It's hard when my camera isn't. We got the flurry? I was really spamming that so we could, but I wasn't actually expecting to land it. Technically with the blizzard rod, that's kind of the cheat. Winning everything. 
Okay, much lower damaging weapon now. Okay. You know, this is fine. Yeah, honestly, the Blizzard Rock could have helped a lot with these. But it is kind of like the cheat for everything, so. Uh, that time we actually did this combat encounter very good. I'll take that. Oh, bye-bye. I'm going to throw this one and get a fresher one. Because there's just like infinite. I should do a compilation for these. Uh, when we finish the playthrough, like right after it finishes, uh, it's not going to be like a full like... Um, like edited challenge run sort of thing I do with my other runs uh, just because there's so much content but um, we will do a video that kind of like highlights some of the run shows like some of those moments so kind of a compilation a mini one mainly because there's not going to be a lot of time between uh, when this run starts wrapping up in tears so we'll do a little something with it for a video but nothing too major because there simply just will not be enough time because it definitely will be the last video before tears comes out go he's completed 100 percent of the game nice that is a very rewarding objective here we go well i think now oh there's bats at there okay what about here? Was there bats at both? There was not. Okay, good. Um. So with that, yeah, we can do one, two. I'm gonna mark out the bats preemptively, but then just do them really quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Six and seven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty enemies. Counting the bats, which we'll kill in just a second. Okay. Mm. They'll spawn in like 20 seconds. Or faster with a campfire. Because I think sometimes you have to like reload it. They're not just going to spawn in front of your face. That's fine. <laughs> Quick. Night. Night's like literally so close. Uh. Or rather, it was a bit far. I forgot it was nine, not seven. Um. Interesting. Not seeing the bats. Did we kill the bats? Um, let me check really quick again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. There should be two. Did we kill them? No, it wouldn't have been the right time of day. And you, bats usually spawn at night. Unless he died from something else and they were just always spawned. Because sometimes I just kill him right away and totally forgot. Okay. Mm. Did we kill them? That's my biggest weird thing right now. Because uh, <laughs> there should be bats here. I never ran into this issue before. Let me look at the footage really quick. Did I accidentally kill like a bat and I'm just like, it totally glossed my mind, you know? It spawned during the day. Hmm. Nope, not seeing in the footage. I have killed them? 
I'm not seeing that I did. <laughs> Oh, I, <laughs> you're right. I killed the Mario and then when we're here in the night. Okay. Nope. I remember that we were riding through our master cycle and we we're killing the Octorox and I just like plucked off two with my bow. Okay. <laughs> right. I, I knew I wasn't going to remember that or that I didn't know. Uh, now's my downfall. So my bad. <laughs> oh, we got a blood moon actually. So we're going to have to do the, the reset moment. Yeah. So we, we did it. It was like 20 minutes ago or more. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we got uh, three enemies here. What are these guys? Just uh, Octorox. Those guys are all dynamics besides two snow Octorox. Interestingly enough. Oh, there's a little... Oh, they're ambushing this old uh, Hylian camp. Interesting. There's a sledgehammer here. That's kind of cool. It's kind of on the outskirts. Oh. Not even what I wanted to do. Imagine dealing with the boomerang that hard. Bye bye. All right, there's also a Talus down there, which we will have to grab. If we want to go back, we can just take the. Uh, or I guess we'll plop a medallion because we have it. We're about a minute away from the Blood Moon. Let's kill the Talus first if we can, and then uh, do the Blood Moon skip. Have we done the secret Eager Camp? I did. That was much earlier. But that was cool, because I I think I've only done that like once or twice before. Overall, it's a very neat one. It is technically like a hidden entrance into this area, I guess. Because there's that giant wing gust right there. It doesn't feel like an entrance, but like it's something. <laughs> there's a quark puzzle there. But I guess if you're going from like the Yiga and like exploring the sides like with the shrine, you could technically find it. It's 11.40. Um, let's wait on the Talus, actually. <sighs> it's fine. We're going to do our normal skip. Basically, the goal here is to save right before it hits midnight. So right now, I know I'm blocking it, but we're at 11.50. 11.55. Save it right before it turns midnight. I think it at least has to be just somewhere in the 55 window. I try to get pretty close to midnight, though. Now that it's safe, right there. Let it happen. And first Blood Moon, because we never saw that. Um, so what we're going to do is just skip that. Or actually, wait. Forgot. <laughs> Not skip that. We let it, uh, we just close the game on it. So I've done I've done this like once per stream. So and then we load it in. And something about loading a game from the menu uh, brings it a little past in time. It just it loads in differently. Is it from the menu or for the first uh, when you restart the game? Either or, we do that, and. It'll load the save slightly past the time of the Blood Moon, effectively skipping it. Yep, so the particles that were there are now gone. Or are leaving. It's solo 5, and we're good. So Blood Moon just doesn't happen. And yeah, it's very interesting how that works, but uh, it works, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I'll see how Talos I'm actually prepared, because we have the right weapon this time. Um, is it? Oh, it's not a back one, actually. <laughs> the one time it's not. Um. Screw it, I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna use the spear, though. Let's melt him. Actually, first things first. Um. There we go. Never mind, I thought that would do something. But it did a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. He's not trying to shake me off. 
Now he is. Okay. Well, that worked well. I like when he just has the little stub of a uh, gem right there. Makes it very easy for me. And then, coming through the back, and a couple of hacks. Plain and simple. All right, now we have to go back to the Highlands. Oh, <laughs> banana gem and very good stuff, just for a rare. It's usually pretty decent, but sometimes you can be quite shabby. So also I'm, I just appreciate the good rewards when I get them. All good? Yeah. All right, let's update the comp by three. I think now that I see this region, uh, well, after putting this up, there was quite a lot here and a lot of traveling. Not too sure if we're going to finish all this today. Doesn't seem like a lot, but even just think of how much time we spent here in itself. I feel like we'll do a little more and then just call it for the day or for the night. Only because the night's getting pretty long and I'm kind of getting tired. Um, and if I stream when I'm too tired, I'm literally just going to be like a, like a potato with a sword. Which isn't very good. Besides the funny aspect. Um, but yeah. Let's try to take on these next couple things. There's still be some interesting stuff up ahead. And uh, we'll call it that. All right. So right by the... Uh, well, it's actually kind of up there. But there is that wind gust. And berries. No deaths today. And a lot of fun combat. A lot of interesting stuff. A lot of hard stuff, especially near the end. Uh, maybe I should have tackled all those lizzles when it was a bit fresher. Tonight, but I guess it's okay. That's another amber chest. Nice. Hey, pop. Okay. Mm. You know, actually, let's just go here. The wind gust. I guess inevitably helps. But basically the next enemies will be kind of there. And yeah. Enemies are pretty spaced here. For some reason I I definitely under, underestimated a little bit. I thought we could do the highlands a little more. We have the spacing and also just spending time to do other things like getting a lot of the chests. It's been very fun. I just really like exploring a lot and uh, I don't know even just seeing all this stuff is cool. The hidden cave that we found earlier was nice. Blueberry gem, cool. Um, a lot of loot, a lot of fun stuff, even if it's a very undervisited area in the game and there's not a lot of huge, important type content. Um, you know what? Yeah. So, like, this camp, that one, there's just more pebblet fields. This field, just kind of like with the horses, just kind of like gradual mini camps kind of going along the stretch. And it kind of ends with big camp right there, big camp right there. Okay. You know what? Honestly, um, I had a lot of fun today, but I feel like I will call it tonight because I, f I think the stuff going up ahead is just going to be stuff that is probably some of the trickiest stuff in the Highlands. And I don't know if I quite have the energy. We've been going for almost four hours, so I think I will need to take a break for the night. Um, three and a half or three hours, 40 minutes to be exact. But it was still awesome. We killed about 200 enemies this stream, which is pretty good considering there's a lot of tougher stuff, some Lynels. Um, it's just always fun. I like trying to experiment with different tactics against familiar enemies. Uh, even when I can with the Lynels, those are always fun. Even just the loose guys doing stuff in the Master Cycle too. Um, it was all really great. And yeah, thank you for joining me in this uh, expedition up here. We'll probably start next stream um, up here and we might go anywhere. Because we'll finish this out next stream and maybe we'll do some stuff on like Death Mountain then. Because I feel like that's another like partial region that we didn't quite do. Um, and there's going to be a lot of stuff there, especially like the path leading up to it. Um, yeah, so maybe next stream could be a bit of like a, a fire and ice one. Finish up this area, do Death Mountain, maybe a bit of Hebra, who knows. But um, we'll at least have two regions with our with the plates cleared then. So that'll be nice. Um, quick reminder about the stream next week, though. It's on Tuesday at 6 Eastern instead of Wednesday. Um, it's like... Probably one of the only times we'll do a Tuesday stream instead of Wednesday, but I'm busy next week. So uh, that's in the description along with everything else. So if you want to reread it before you head out, then that'd be awesome. Also, thank you guys for nearly 600 likes. We're like 10 away, so I'm sure we'll hit that soon. So thank you. Um, but yeah, with that said, 
just as always thank you so much for being here um this week i'm going to spend more time editing the new challenge run um we'll do more stream next week and yeah hopefully get up the new challenge run before the end of the month so thank you again for watching 209 enemies have been slain tonight thank you Kanjal. yeah that's that's still awesome above 200 is still a very good margin and yeah I'll, I'll check the count for the ego um but yeah thank you so much once again i don't have too much to add sorry i have a bit of tired brain right now but hope you guys have a great rest of your night a good week a good weekend and i will see you all next time so have a good one <laughs>